Oh, oh, Super Bowl Sunday live stream. That's good sports. That's what we're doing. Welcome in, everyone. We are going to be live streaming for the whole Super Bowl. Uh, we're going to be trying to raise money for the Alzheimer's Association. That link is below. Going to be a fun day. And uh, I just put it in the comments. I just got nervous, and I really did. Uh, biggest game of the year for the players, also for me. I got scared for some reason. Uh, <laughs> I got scared for some reason. Oh, I missed this. I didn't see it. I honestly, I, I didn't watch any Super Bowl pregame today. And then I just turned on the uh, the 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 Super Bowl right when they started getting ready to do uh, the uh, songs, the pregame songs. Here we go, big game, big game, everybody go! You guys know who I'm rooting for. I shall not curse either team by putting putting their name in my mouth. Okay. Try and keep it respectable, keep it fair, so no curses. I don't want to be blamed for anybody winning or losing this game. Tired of it. Yeah, we got Rihanna at the halftime uh, performance. A little bit of news came out today that Derek Carr would not uh, accept a trade offer. <laughs> so he's going to force the, the Raiders to release him, which is just a baller move. I now respect Derek Carr so much. So, so, so much. Even though he may... Whoa, Nick Sirianni got tears pouring out of his eyes. Oh, man, Nick. This guy is passionate. These guys are ready. Oh, Nick Sirianni crying. Uh, I think the Eagles just won. Best. Tears of joy. Nick Sirianni. Okay. Who do you guys think is going to win? Who do you think is winning this game? I really don't know. Usually, you kind of got a feel. Not that the feeling is right, but last year, I felt like the Rams were going to win. Uh, the year before that, felt like the Bucks were going to win because we knew Kansas City's line was was messed up. Year before that, felt like the Chiefs would beat the 49ers. Um, don't know. This is such an interesting matchup. Both these teams are really good. Credit to them both. Not cursing. Not cursing either one. Yeah, I think if the Eagles win, their secondary might be the difference for them on defense. I think they've got uh, a more proven veteran secondary. Chief secondary sneaky, but it's it's young. Maybe that's where some mistakes are made. Don't know. Uh, I said it on, I think it was GPS or clickbait. Can't remember. But I think whichever team uh, also runs the screen game a little bit better today might have the edge. Uh we know the Eagles are going to bring the heat. We know the Chiefs are great getting the ball out to guys like Jarek McKinnon. So that could be a difference as well. Don't know yet. Don't know yet. Uh, let's see here. But we are trying to raise $25,000 for the Alzheimer's Association through uh, my page here. The link is in the description, so if you want to donate, please do it through the link below. Uh, if if we hit uh, 10K today, which we should be able to do, I'll get the, because I, I posted the question in the community tab, I'll get the Let's Ride Hina Tattoo on my hands if we hit 10K. If we hit 25K, then I will commission an artist to paint this, to create this, and this godforsaken monstrosity will hang in my house 
on the wall for a year. One year. One year. So uh, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do to try and get 225K. I also tweeted that if I hit 100, if we hit 100K, I will get Let's Ride tattooed permanently on my body. Permanently. Okay. I don't know why I should be punished when we do something good together. That's just the way it works, I guess. I guess that's just the way it works. <laughs> so we'll check in on that along the way. See where we're getting to. Oh, yeah. Back and forth. We're at 3,100. We're already 3,143 trying to get to 25K. So we just 22K. 22K. Let's ride. Let Russ cook. Whatever. We can hash out the details. However you guys want, or I'll, I'll get that. I'll get the Tom Brady thing, Tom Brady thing, henna tattooed on my back. I just don't know if henna tattoo artists can do portraiture. Uh, honestly, I'm excited because I do want to see one team win over the other. A lot, like a lot. That always makes for an interesting watch. And I'm really hoping we can hit our uh, fundraising goal because then if the other team wins, if the other team wins, then at least I'll feel good about raising money for a cause that's important to my family. Oh, yeah, the... Derpy drawn logos, the Eagles and the Chiefs up there in the corner. That is from one Rachel Half. Uh, so uh, she drew all of those for me to use for power rankings for the streams. And they're very, very badass. Rachel Half at Squeaky Muffin 87 on Twitter made those. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> Already got indigestion. We're not the kickoff hasn't even happened yet. All right. Who did your script have winning Super Bowl MVP? That would be one Patrick Mahomes via the script. Via the script that I got from the NFL, it said the Chiefs win. Patrick Mahomes gets MVP. Chiefs have a comeback in the fourth quarter. So that's what the script wants. We'll see if this is indeed rigged. Where are we at? 3,158. Ooh, we raised $15. $15 since I mentioned it. Uh, I tweeted out the, the link to the stream. If you can't donate, if you can go and retweet uh, the link to the stream or the link to the, the fundraiser on Twitter, that would be much appreciated. I know everybody doesn't have extra cash to give away, but any sort of liking, retweeting, any of that shit, very helpful as we try and get to $25,000 so I can hang this on my wall for an entire year in my bedroom. All right, Carl Cheffers out on the field getting booed. Oh, boy, is he getting booed. He's getting booed while uh, trying to thank the military. So you know that's how the crowd does not like him. All right, here comes the coin toss. Who's winning the coin toss? Are the uh, is the coin toss curse going to continue? Thank you for the super chat, Matthew. 
I will uh, drop any of the super chats we do into the uh, fundraiser today as well. Uh, but if you want to do it, do it through the link below. Eagles will get the ball. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Chiefs won the ball. Won the Chiefs won the coin toss. Well, I think it's written. They're going to lose the game now. Oh my gosh. You know what I love about the Super Bowl? We get two songs before the game. Commercials. Coin toss. Commercials. Then they kick off. Really milk all that extra time. Because you could go straight from the coin toss to the kickoff. But uh, now we get Guardians of the Galaxy 3. We get Guardians of the Galaxy 3. All righty. Bam. Sweet. We just got another $10 donated. Boom. Slowly but surely, we will get to 25000 Guillermo. Perna, we need the Chiefs to lose today. If they don't, their fans are going to be mean to us and call us names. Uh, that is true, Guillermo. And Derek Carr, not not letting the Raiders get any picks that is not going to help your team. So, uh, and the chiefs fans are already mean to us. They're already mean to us. Guillermo. They're going to be worse. They're going to be worse to us. Guillermo. Oh, Guillermo. They're going to be worse for us to us. All right. Come on. I just want to see football. I want to see some meaningful football. This is the charity stream, Ambika. Link to donate is below. We are at $3,193 on our way to $25,000. This is the charity fundraiser stream. Uh, we'll try and check in on that every commercials break. Commercial break. Uh, God knows we got four hours of it. So I'll have the score up here in a second once the game kicks off. But yeah, we're trying to raise money for the Alzheimer's Association. My uh, sister worked there for several years. She just actually changed jobs. But I'm still rocking with them because it's a it's a great organization. And both of our grandparents uh, had Alzheimer's. Anybody going through that knows it sucks. Um, so uh, maybe next year I'll switch it up. I don't know yet. But right now, we all in for the Alzheimer's Association. Apparently, the script that was leaked has the Eagles winning by three. You saw it here first. Ooh, there you go, pocket bees. You forgot that Andy Reid retires in your script. Oh, my God. That would be nice. That's really the only consolation prize if the Chiefs win, right? If Andy Reid retires, I will be happy. Mahomes still great. Mahomes still great. Great quarterbacks transcend. Um, coaches, but I'm not sure there's another guy in the league that's going to come in and scheme that offense as diligently as Andy Reid. Oh, thank you, Ta Taticus Legion 78. Taticus Legion 78, thank you for donating. Appreciate it. There it is. We jumped over 318. Boom. Boom, boom. Yeah, see, I don't think Andy Reid will retire, <clears throat> even if he wins. I think he's thinking about it. I think he's thinking about how many more years he'll do it. Uh, two years, 
One year. Boom. Thank you. Thank you for the support. Thank you guys for supporting this show, these streams all season long. Uh, right now, the Super Bowl for streaming, it's not necessarily like great because a lot of people are doing shit, but everybody taking the time to hop in here and watch the game. Love it. Boom, ba, ba, boom, ba, boom. Wow, even more intros. Here we go. Still not kicking the ball off yet. Andy Reid coach four more years? Oh, please don't. Him and him and Mahomes are such a good good duo. Like Mahomes will be good with whoever's the head coach. Uh, at least as long as he's still athletically superior to everyone around him. Um, but like I saw this, I think somebody's trying to tweet out this video, like showing how many of the Chiefs touchdowns were like inside the five yard line passing touchdowns. And they're trying to use it as a as a way to kind of knock down the amount of passing touchdowns Mahomes has, which, you know, I love. Uh, they, I don't think shovel passes this should count as a passing touchdown. Um, but one, you got to be a really good quarterback to operate consistently that well in those situations. But more so than that, it's just like I've seen offensive coordinators not scheme well inside the five, inside the 10. I've seen shit offense there. And to me, that's just testament to Andy Reid finding mismatches, doing things pre-snap to get guys open. And that would be, I think, the biggest thing the biggest thing you would see uh, for the Chiefs in terms of a drop-off if Andy Reid leaves. All right. <clears throat> Who do you hate more, Chiefs or Brady? Well, now that Brady's retired, the Chiefs, but my entire life, uh, Brady? Well, no, not my entire life. Because when I lived in Kansas, oh, my, that's when I hated the Chiefs the most. All right, first play. What do we got, Philly? Come on. Throw a touchdown to Dallas Goddard. Just do it. First play, TD. Let's get wild. It is a handoff. Miles Sanders bounces outside. Oh, and he fumbles, but it's out of bounds. Ooh, those jitters. Those jitters are out there. I think he could have had more yards if he just cut straight up, but he picks up, I don't know, three. Oh, yeah, let me get this uh, back for y'alls. There we go. One one yard gain. Um, would you rather see Patrick win and start to outshine Brady and be on pace as new goat, or rather see the Chiefs lose? Oh, that's such a tough question. I think Brady is or uh, Mahomes is better than Brady, but I don't want the Chiefs to win a bunch of. I don't want the Chiefs to win seven Super Bowls. If that's what you're asking, I'll live with calling Brady the goat. If that's the other option, <laughs> seven Super Bowls for the Chiefs. Second play, it's a quick pass. Oh, they said Sanders lost a yard, so maybe that ball popping out negated some yards there. Oh, Josh, thanks for signing up as a member, buddy. All right, here we go. Third and five. First quarters, usually low scoring in Super Bowls. All the buildup, all the anticipation. Always feels like the defense has the edge. Third and five here. What are they going to do? Jalen Hurts in shotgun. He's going to throw. He's got all day. He dumps it off. He's got his man. It's Devontae Smith who takes a walloping shot. Out of bounds there. Is that Reed? Justin Reed? Yeah, Justin Reed just lit him up. Whew. But it is a first down. Thanks, John. I appreciate it, buddy. Enjoy uh, the show. You're here so often. You deserve to watch somebody better. Hurts going deep, looking for A.J. Brown, but it is out of bounds. Don't forget to thumbs up the video while you're here. We got 255 likes already. Hmm. 
Mm-mm-mm. Ooh, that was a helmet to helmet hit. At least it looked like it from that angle. All right. What do we got? Second and 10. So I think getting that first first down always settles settles the team a bit. What do we got here? Hurts. Going to take off running. Got to, got to block there. <laughs> and he picks up a first. Is that Miles Sanders out blocking for him? See? This is what makes the Eagles dangerous. All right. First, the, the protection's good. Everybody's covered, though. Oh, that was Devontae Smith blocking. So then Jalen Hurts just takes off, runs, picks up the first down. If you watch the Eagles this season, very familiar with this. All right. We got a fresh set of downs coming up. Eagles cross midfield. Jalen Hurts looking to throw, fires. Oh, he's got his man. That is Dallas Goddard reeling it in whilst getting hit. And it's another fly, Eagles fly, first down. All right, here we go. From the 30, almost the 34, Eagles... Uh, little read option. Hurts dumps it off. They got another first down to Devontae Smith, who breaks a couple tackles, and then he's brought down at the 10. Ho, 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 ho. Philly moving down the field with ease this opening drive. Well, RPO, read option, run pass option, whatever. Would you rather relive Super Bowl 48 and get crushed by my Hawks or the Brady-led Cow? Oh, send Brady to Dallas. Go for it. <laughs> Go for it. We'll hand off inside here. Oh, eight-yard, nine-yard gain for Boston Scott. All right. I made a huge parlay, and I said first TD score of the game would be Dallas Goddard. We're close to seeing whether I'm going to be a big loser or not. FYTB country, let's ride. Here we go. Another handoff inside. This time it's a one, one yard loss. Handoff was to Boston Scott. Third and two coming up here. All right. I bet Philly tries to get Hurts on the move, either left or right, with the option to pass. And, of course, run. Come on, Goddard. Where are you at, Dallas? I see him. Top right. <clears throat> A.J. Brown, bottom of the screen. Heather, handoff. It's a touchdown, Philadelphia. Kenneth Gainwell on the carry. Ho, ho, ho. What an opening statement drive by the Eagles. Nearly five minutes, a nice blend of run and pass, and then Kenneth Gainwell crosses the goal line. Jay, I wish you the best of luck in that task. Ooh, he might be short. He might be short. But he would have picked up the first down, okay? They're going to take a look at this. Yeah, it'll be a first and goal uh, if they decide to mark. Oh, man, that's... <clears throat> yeah. By an inch. Okay, so no Kenneth Gainwell, TD. Come on, Dallas Goder. <laughs> Oh, all right. We got a QB sneak coming up. Remember, Jason Kelsey on his podcast says, if you need a yard and you don't do a QB sneak, you're an effing idiot. 
It's the highest percentage play in football or something. Here we go. First and goal. Okay. It is a QB sneak. Oh, they got it. That was easy. That was easy. It's a Jalen Hurts rushing touchdown. Uh-oh, there's a flag. Looks like it's on the Chiefs because the Eagles are patting the refs on the back. Offside defense. There's the TD. We got it. Hell to the yeah. And the extra point is up and down the gooch. Philly takes a 7-0 to zero lead. Woo. Two rushes by Hertz on that series. A couple nice passes. Four or five for 54 yards. I mean, if you're an Eagles fan, that's as good of an opening drive as uh, you could have asked for. Okay. All right, don't forget, everybody, today we are trying to raise $25,000 for the Alzheimer's Association. We're $3,400 on our way there to $25,000. If we get to $10,000, I'll get a Let's Ride henna tattoo on my knuckles per your suggestion on the community tab. If we get to $25,000, we are going... Well, I'm going to commission this as a work of art and hang it in my house for an entire year. If and only if we get to 25,000. Anyway, you can share the link, tweet the link. Uh, would be much appreciated. The link is below. It is my page through the Alzheimer's Association. I've worked with them for several years now because my sister used to uh work at the association she just changed jobs and i partnered bench warmer brew with my page and today and today only a bench warmer brew if you use the code scripted if you use the code scripted um you get 15% off losers blend 15% off with the promo code scripted in 1% of our sales at benchwarmerbrew.com. Now go to my page at the Alzheimer's Association. <clears throat> Oof. Voice is already feeling it, and we're not even through the first quarter. Uh. Thank you, Trippy. Thank you, Trippy. Okay. Yeah. So I'll be promoting that. I'll stream long. Get used to hearing it. Every commercial break. Every commercial break. Got to get to 25K. We did 23,000 last year. So that's why the new goal is 25K. Anybody trying to win Terry Bradshaw's money? I really wish it was Terry's money. And I wish every time he had to give it away, uh, he had to like sell off one of like his, his cars or something because Fox doesn't pay him enough. <clears throat> All right. Eagles about to kick back off to the Chiefs here. See what Kansas City does. You know? Eagles get a, a stop on this opening drive? That'd be huge. That would be huge. Yeah. You got to feel good about what the Eagles offense did there. Mainly the their protection. Pass blocking was great. 
uh, weren't quite as fe- effective run blocking, but once they got close, that's when Gainwell sprung that nine yard run. <clears throat> but great, great job by the Eagles front. Well, hey, Brandon, you're more awesome than John McClain from Die Hard. Hand off here to Pacheco. He's going to pick up four on the first uh, first run here. Fletcher Cox loses his helmet. Looks like he's got something to say about that. From Die, from die Hard? Hang in there. You got this. When your team is in the Super Bowl, that shit ain't easy, Jory. I know. Just take a lot of deep breaths. A lot of deep breaths. All right. Second play. Second and seven. Mahomes across the middle. Guess who he's got? Travis Kelsey for a huge gain. That is 20 yards. 20 yards. Yeah. Travis Kelsey just gets right behind the linebacker there, as he always seems to do. It's like Travis Kelsey is the only tight end who knows if you just run behind the linebackers, you're always open. All right, first down for Kansas City. Trying to get across midfield. Mahomes rolling. Rolling to his right. He's going to take off running. That ankle looks fine. He slides down after about seven yards, eight yards. Chiefs moving easily. Damn, Jay. I've never been called cooler than John McClain. I don't think I could live up to that to that level of cool. Live free, die hard. Second and two from the, uh, what are we at, the 44? Hand off to Pacheco. He picks up a first down. He's got a big gain. Oh, he drops his shoulder. Wow, that is a 24-yard pickup for the Pachecanator. All right, so both defenses uh, looking like they don't know how to stop the offenses. Offenses. Not exactly what you usually see uh, in the Super Bowl. But... um, So far, it's it's exciting. Another handoff to Pacheco. He kind of trips, and then he's tackled for about a one-yard gain. Are they ever going to blow this play dead? Jesus. Maybe they give him three or four there. And then there's a flag? What's the flag? Congrats on another awesome season, Perna. Thank you, unsolicited unsolicited dick uh, picks. It's always a fun name to say. Uh, you rock and enjoy the offseason as much as you can. P.S. Go Seahawks and Broncos. Yeah, I don't feel like the offseason starts until after the draft. <laughs> but I will enjoy it. Mahomes to throw on second and eight. Got his guy. It's Travis Kelsey for a touchdown. Oh, my God. They made that look easy. There was no flag. No flag. Well. Presuming the extra point is good, we got a tie game. Eagles defense got torched on that drive. The Chiefs defense, even though they gave up the touchdown, they actually looked better on that opening series than the Eagles defense just did. Epps getting burned. Woo! This might be a barn burner, guys. All right, Butker back for the PAT. And we got a tie ball game. Seven to seven. Oh, boy. Wow. Wow. Couldn't stop Kelsey. Couldn't slow down Pacheco. And just a solid opening drive. Mahomes only, was that two for two for 38 yards and a TD? Both passes to Kelsey. Hey, guys, just fucking cover Travis Kelsey. 
Call me crazy. <laughs> but you do that. You make life a lot harder to, on the Chiefs. Uh, yes, I do. If Sean Payton brings Gronk to Denver, I don't even care what other moves they make in free agency. That's just good. One, he blocks really well. One of the best blocking tight ends ever. And he's Gronk. Of course I'll take him. In all my days of hating the Patriots, I could never hate Gronk. All right, where are we at in the fundraiser? Oops, wrong way. Where are we at in the fundraiser? $3,458 on our way to $25,000 for the Alzheimer's Association. Link is in the description. So if you want to donate, uh, please do it through the link. Um, and if you can go to my Twitter and retweet the, the tweets promoting this, all of that would be very helpful. We got about three and a half hours left, maybe more to raise 25,000. Game is tied up at seven apiece. Mm. Which defense makes adjustments first? Which defense do you guys think can actually slow down the opposing offense? Based on those first two series, I would say the Chiefs, but I mean, Chiefs just got chunk play after chunk play on that drive. 29 rushing yards from Pacheco. What did Mahomes? Eight? Yeah. It's two passes. Just slow down, Gronk, idiots. God. The amount of teams that don't know how to cover him is insane to me. It's just insane to me. You got to disrupt him off the line of scrimmage. Just put a corner on him. Just take your corner. Put it on, on Kelsey. All times. Man up. Yeah. Denver's going to get Gronk. Confirmed. Okay. They're showing how the Chiefs get Kelsey open. Don't care. Put your big, your biggest, best corner on him right in his face at the line of scrimmage. Punch him. Gronk to Denver. Sean Payton's been joking about Rob Gronkowski coming to Denver, so that's where that's coming from. That's where that's coming from. All right, first down here for the Eagles. Quick pass out to Gainwell, and he's going to pick up Five, six, and then there's a little flag there. What's that? First penalty of the game coming up. Pass interference offense. Carl Cheffers already trying to make Chiefs Kingdom like him. Let me see this. Oh. So number three starts blocking before the before the ball's caught. So that's why that's a flag. I guess you could also argue that would be holding out there. So first and 20 now for the Eagles. Uh, I feel like the Chiefs are going to bring the pressure here. All right. Handoff. Gainwell's going to pick up two. But let's see, Kelsey boys both had their moment with that QB sneak over center. Now the real game begins. That's right. Both Kel Kelsey's get basically setting up those first two touchdowns. That's a good point. Okay, second and 19. 
Second and 19. Philly needs a big play already. Quick pass. Smith. He's going to pick up seven. Third and long coming up. Okay. Well, they only give him five yards there. So we got a third and 14. Third and 14. We got almost 800 people in here. Almost 500 likes. Let's do it. All right, Philly. You need to convert here or the Chiefs are going to take the lead. That's just how this shit goes. Jalen Hurts got time. Now he's rolling, rolling, throws it away. Nothing there. <laughs> we all know Brandon is cheering for the Chiefs to lower the Chiefs' first round pick. <laughs> yeah, by one. By I'm really worried at who, who they can get at 31 versus 30. Oh, my gosh. That's funny, Scott. That is funny, Scott. All right, that's a three and out for the Eagles. A penalty pushes them back, and they can't overcome. Punt is off, and it's just a regular old punt. That touch a dude? It's picked up by the Chiefs. They get a decent little return there. It's kind of a weird play. That was Kadarius Tony. What did he get there, 10? All right. Now we need to see if the Eagles can do can do a stop. Can the Eagles get a stop? Back at commercial break. Damn. We're at $3500 on the donations. For the Alzheimer's Association, 3500 That means we are $22,500 away from hitting the goal. Okay. Philly needs a turnover. They need a turnover bad, desperately. <laughs> oh boy. People getting upset about my uh this is the most American Super Bowl tweet. It's like have a sense of humor, people. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. 814 people in here. How many likes we got? We got 500 likes yet? Ooh, we're 40 away from 500. No, we'll be doing GPS in the morning. We'll be doing it in the morning. Talking about... Derek Carr not getting any draft picks for his trade, I'm sure. Because he pulled out of the trade debacle. Why do you think Derek Carr did that? Do you think it's because he decided he didn't want the team he was going to to give up any capital to get him? Do you think he didn't want the team to give up a first? Or do you think that he was embarrassed by what the draft pick that was going to actually be given up to get him actually was? Let's go, Chiefs. Hashtag cancel Perna. Uh-oh. <laughs> don't cancel me, Corey. I don't want to be canceled. All right, here we go. First play for Kansas City. It is a screen. Who is that? Noah Gray? What's he got? Six yards? 
Yeah, my wife says don't cancel me. <laughs> yeah, no, that's true, David. I would have. That's what I. I. That's what I said. I wanted Derek Carr to do. I just thought he was too nice of a guy to do it. All right, another handoff here to Pacheco. He's going to pick up two. Chiefs facing uh, third and short, and then there's a flag. Great, there's a flag. Uh, Purple Penguin, not 100%. We're waiting on some things, but uh, maybe, you know, we take holding defense. Automatic first down, Chiefs. So Carl Cheffer is really helping out the Chiefs so far. Um, you know, through March and April, we'll definitely be going, going hot on GPS, probably three days a week. Uh, if we land a sponsorship thing, you know, definitely that'll be happening. Kind of depends on that. We'll be, we'll be at it. Just sending love from the UK. Well, thank you. Keep up the great content and hope you reach your goal. A very worthwhile cause. Thank you. All right, fresh set of downs for the Chiefs. Mahomes, no pass rush. Wide open is Travis Kelsey. The fact that I have watched this shit happen every postseason game is starting to make me sick. <laughs> starting to make me sick. Eagles got to get something going. No pressure. No covering Kelsey. Mahomes has all day. Finally throws a ball away. Greg Olson's trying to explain why Kelsey is open all the time. Uh, Eagles defensive coordinator, Jonathan Gannon being considered for some head coaching jobs. Uh, if he can't figure out a way to cover Travis Kelsey, I would take back any offer I give to him. Quick pass to Jarek McKinnon. He picks up a long eight tackled by Darius Slay. <clears throat> They're going to say seven. I'm going to say that looked like eight to me. I don't. I pray for that scenario. But that is, those are some big shoes to fill. All right, third and three. Can the Eagles get any pass rush? Oh, Mahomes nearly tripped up, gets the ball away, not sacked, not complete, fourth and three. What do the Chiefs do? Are they going to take the points? Yeah. Hassan Reddick was right there. He gets Mahomes' foot. Mahomes tried to, to fire it out for Fortson. Fortson. All right. Well, I guess only giving up three is an improvement for the Eagles. 42 yard attempt. Coming from Harrison Butker. What do we got? Kick is up. Oh, it's off the upright. No good. He doinked it. Doink diddly doinked it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Tie game still. Oh, yeah, that was a doink all right. Dang, you could actually bet on whether the ball's going to hit an upright on DraftKings today. I almost took that bet, too, and I didn't. Anyway, I'm from the future. Dulcich is better than Travis. Okay, if you're right, I'm going to be very happy. Very happy, Spoomster Films. All right, where are we at? Do we gain any money on this shit? <clears throat> this is moving slow. Maybe the Super Bowl is a bad day to try and do charity. 
Maybe it's a bad day. Nope. This way. Link in the description for the Alzheimer's Association. Trying to get to $25,000. We did twenty three dollars last year. We can do twenty five dollars this year. Make it happen. Make it happen. Who am I rooting for? Or nobody. I can't say who I'm rooting for because whoever I root for is cursed and they lose. So I'm going to be as neutral as humanly possible. Because there's one team I definitely don't want to win. Okay? Okay? Oof. Missed field goal. That's a bit of luck. Let's see. Do they got the sound of that doink on Twitter? Let me see here. Game still tied after the doink. Now, if you're the uh, if you're Andy Reid, you're regretting not going for it on fourth and three with that offense. I mean, I got. If I got Mahomes and Kelsey, I'm probably just never not going to go for it on fourth down. Like, I feel like they would have definitely converted the fourth and three there. All right, Eagles caught their first break. You need some breaks if you're going to win a Super Bowl, okay? You need some breaks. When Aaron retires and the Packers aren't good, will Pack Cast become Kitty Cast? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. No, Tom's crushing it. Tom's crushing it. But he will learn what it's like to suffer as a football fan before you get to the postseason. Okay, he'll learn to he'll learn to suffer in the regular season, like me, like me. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Third drive for the Eagles. It is Jalen Hurts keeping it. He's going to pick up five. I think he should have handed it there to uh, Miles Sanders, but he elects to keep the ball. Yeah, I get that. Big game. You always want to take points, too. Um, another keeper here for Hertz. Instead of giving it to Sanders. Yeah. I mean, I agree. Like, I, if I were the coach, I would have taken the field goal there. You always need points. But if I'm Andy Reid and I know how good I am as a play caller, I just go for it on fourth and three. Third and four here for Philly. Hertz kept it the last two plays, picked up five, then was held for no gain. Uh-oh, what's going to happen here? Oh, Chiefs jump. Frank Clark, offsides. Oh. Free set of downs, five yards with four to gain. If Patrick Mahomes wins, State Farm commercials will never let us hear the end of it. That's true. That is true. It's in State Farm Stadium right now. Mahomes wins in State Oh, man, like how much money can Mahomes ask them for if he wins a Super Bowl in their stadium? Like he's already getting, what, a half a billion dollars from the NFL? I would ask for a billion. Like that's – you will never – be as good of an advertiser as that. 
All right, they do a little jet sweep here to Dallas Goddard. Once he can pick up five, five yard gain for Dallas. Dallas in the Super Bowl, huh, guys? Never thought we would see another Dallas in the Super Bowl, would we? Well, he's back. All right, second and six. Eagles trying to get across midfield, take advantage of a missed Chiefs field goal. Chiefs look to be bringing a blitz. Hertz gets the ball to A.J. Brown. That's his first reception, and it's good for seven and another Eagles first down. Yeah, Mahomes wins a Super Bowl in State Farm Stadium. Maybe he won't finish as the GOAT football player, but GOAT advertiser? Certainly. Certainly. Don't forget, we got these uh, oddly pixelated color schemes for shirts at benchwarmerbrew.com my coffee company old bench warmer brew we got some other color variations and today if you use our code scripted scripted you get 15 percent off your order at benchwarmerbrew.com Pat Cast will become Puppy Cast when the Packers finally reach the current Broncos level. <clears throat> Tom does have a lot of dogs, so. That's probably more on par. Slow down, Jory. Slow down. Slow down. All right. Good to see them finally get the ball to A.J. Brown. He's going to have to make a couple plays to get these guys going. Devontae Smith, four catches, 46 yards. Kelsey, three for 60, and that TD. Kelsey's, so far, the MVP is Travis Kelsey. Okay? So far, the MVP is Kelsey. Oh, boy. This YouTube thing always lags now for some reason. <clears throat> Bam. Report. Unwanted or commercial spam. Boom. When is halftime? It's uh, midway through the football game. <laughs> okay. These commercial breaks are long. Oh, we jumped almost a hundred dollars. The Alzheimer's Association. Boom, 643. Link in the description for charity. Again, if you can't afford to donate, make sure you check out my Twitter at Brandon Perna. Retweet uh, the link to it. Just help spread the word. We'll raise some money for a great cause while watching the greatest game on earth, the Super Bowl. All right, Philly, at the 45, basically. Ooh. See, the Eagles offense moves a little more slowly, a little more chunkily. What do we got here? Hurts? Got all day. Going deep. Looking for A.J. Brown. And it's a touchdown. Holy shit. What a play. That's, that was a fucking A.J. Brown down there somewhere play. A.J. Brown is covered, makes an adjustment late to track to the ball. Huge touchdown for Jalen Hurts. Oh, that's a big dick throw. <clears throat> what a friggin' play. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. I did say slowly. 
And what happened? <laughs> wow. Who is say is that Thornhill in coverage there? Yeah, he just gets turned around, twisted, thinking the ball's gonna be shorter. Jalen Hurts with the bum shoulder fires a bomb and it's caught. How long was that? How long was that play? Update. Update. Fifty-two, so about a forty-five-yard touchdown. There it is. It's on the TV. Woo! Love it. It's almost like Nick Foles was back there again. All right, Jalen Hurts eight of ten for a buck sixteen in the TD. Now, smart, efficient football. That was an exciting play. That was an exciting play. Hey, Brandon, you're super. Thanks, Adam Barry, for the super chat. Some might say, Adam, you're super. All right. Chiefs back trailing. 14 to 7. All right, first play for Kansas City. Hand off to Pacheco, and he's going to be tackled for a loss. There you go. Hargrave blowing up that play. Finally, the Eagles' defensive line gets some push there. Yeah, Hargrave just blew that shit up. So that is... I think the first negative play for the Chiefs, three-yard loss by Pacheco. We got 882 people in here, almost at 600 likes. Can we get up to 600 likes? Chiefs at the 22. Staring at a second and 12. Mahomes, quick pass. Tackled immediately as Juju Smith-Schuster by Epps. Marcus Epps, that's a four-yard pickup. KC's got a third and eight. Chiefs really need to convert here uh, just for momentum changing, okay? You want to get that momentum back. How are you falling asleep? We've got three touchdowns, and we're not even two full minutes into the second quarter. All right. Here we go. Third and eight. What you got, Mahomes? Pressure's coming. Ball is off. Juju looking for a flag. No flag. Or is there a flag? No flag. I think there should have been one. Let's see. Is he touch him late here? Oh, he pulls him around a little bit. That's close. That's close. Got his hand on his hip and turned him. Usually you get that. Usually that's called. Usually that's called if I'm being unbiased. I like the no call. I think that's how it should be. But usually that's called. <clears throat> Ooh, nearly running into the kicker. Eagles get a little return here to the 30. Going down at the 33. Take my like and my money, Mr. McLean. Jay, you got to stop. Uh, complimenting me. Don't feed my ego, Jay. Hey, Perna, I jumped off Tom's stream. I like yours better. LOL, <laughs> go Eagles. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't tell Tom. I'm sure the thousands and thousands of people uh, he can afford Josh coming over here. Honestly, Josh, your profile picture looks like me. Are you me, Josh? Josh, am I you? <laughs> am I you? 
I'm a little bit convinced that I am Josh now. All right. Wow. Great stop there by the Eagles defense. If they can get up 21-7, that would be nice. Which team do you think was more disrespected leading up to this game? The Chiefs, I feel like the Eagles were more disrespected. <clears throat> but I feel like that's because maybe I just got more Chiefs fans talking shit in my mentions. But I don't know. Hmm. No war. We're all on the same team. We're all on the same team. We're all on the same team. Oh, <sighs> do we raise any more money? 643 to 643. Oh, we got to get the fundraiser popping. $3,643 on our way to 25000 which if we hit 25000 I will commission this, have it painted, and then I will hang this in my house for an entire year as a work of art. If we get to 10K today, I get Let's Ride henna tattooed on my fingers. If we get 100K, I'll get a real Let's Ride tattoo. That's how we do. In the past, we have destroyed a Tom Brady Lego head. Last year, I shaved the monkey beard into my face. I mean, willing to do any of it. Just trying to raise for a great cause. Hour in, I do have to pee soon. Oh, water. Got to consume a lot of it. <clears throat> Streaming's tough on the old vocal cords. <laughs> I could definitely take over Jimmy Fallon's salary for that job, Jesse. Guarantee that. Sup, 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 sup. All right, first play. Miles Sanders tackled for a loss. So that last drive, uh, Philly struggling to run a little bit there, but they converted. A little jet sweep to Godert, and then. Hertz hit a 45-yard bomb to A.J. Brown. Now they got a second and 11. What are they doing here? Hertz dumps it off to Dallas again, and he's just trying to hold on to the football. He's going to pick up, I don't know, three? Three-yard game? Third and eight coming up? The winner of the Walter Payton Award is Boo. I guess the Eagles fans are well represented. <laughs> Enjoy making your big soup or bowl choice, Berna. Or do they boo boo because it was Dak? <laughs> they boo Dak for winning Walter Payton Man of the Year. Hurts scrambling, running all over the field, and then he throws a dart. And that's a first down. Holy shite. Wow. This is a great play by Hertz. Frank Clark, he just torches Frank Clark. And he snakes his way like vintage Russ Wilson. And then uh, nine-yard gain to Zach Pascal for the first down. Wow. Sir Random Guy, I missed your super chat. Where the hell is that? Should be writing a report, but I'm here. Jesse, I missed, missed that one too. Damn it. I suck. Gainwell, he cuts back. He turns a no gain into an eight-yard pickup. Whoa. Eagles cooking. So random, guy. Where the hell's your super? <clears throat> How'd I miss it? When did I miss it? Anyway, Sir Random, I can't find it. 
But he said, finally drank bench warmer brew and honest review. It's really great. 10 out of 10 brew. Benchwarmerbrew.com. If you go there today and use the code scripted, you get 10%. Oh, there it is. And ooh. Well, second and two. Would Gainwell get one here? Kind of falls down. Rough years to be a Broncos fan, but you got me through. I'm here for you, Jay. I am here for all Broncos fans. Oh, my God. Chiefs, what a bunch of tattletales. Eagles were lining up for a QB sneak. And the Chiefs ratted him out for a false start. Chiefs are snitches. All right, so that was a third and one. Now they got a third and six. That's unfortunate. Thanks, Jesse. Hurts, and he fumbles. Oh, no, the Chiefs pick it up. That could have had, that couldn't have been any worse. That's a touchdown, Kansas City. Wow. Wow. That is horrible. That <laughs> That's that I'm at a loss for words. Third and one, and the Eagles false start. Go to third and six, and then Jalen Hurts fumbles. Chiefs scoop and score. We got another tie ball game. The script is in. The script is in. Wow. This game is going to come down to the very end. This game is going to get crazy, I think. God. Eagles had it. They're about to. That false start, man. They would have got another first down, ate some more clock, maybe got a field goal, been up by 10. Instead, it's tie game. Jalen Hurts now has to battle the mental aspect of making a horrible play, an atrocious play in the Super Bowl. Can he bounce back from this? That's what we're going to see. Mm. Watching Perna makes me think of home in Colorado. MB from... Kiev, Ukraine? Wow. Mr. Mike Barksdale, I hope you're staying safe there, my friend. Uh, I hope you're staying safe there, buddy. <clears throat> wow. That play sucked. That play sucked. Well, this does open the door for a non-quarterback on the Eagles roster to win MVP. Oh, I hate it. I hate that. Oh, my God. Yeah, there's been a lot of UFO stuff lately. UFOs apparently are getting shut down shot down over everywhere ufos are everywhere now balloons and ufos are they all spy balloons or are aliens here i don't know 
I don't know. Okay. Tie game, though. It's been entertaining. First quarter and a third. There's 9.39 left in the second quarter. And we got three offensive touchdowns, one defensive touchdown. Just a terrible play by Jalen Hurts. Now he's got to answer. He needs to put a drive together here to uh, erase that uh, that mistake from his mind. They talk about composure, but it's different in the Super Bowl. They need a big play. They need a big play. Was that fumble scripted? Was that fumble scripted? Oh, we crossed over to 3,718 for the Alzheimer's Association. We're chipping away at the $25,000 goal. Link in the description. Boom. Thank you, Knuckle Super Studios. Jalen Hurts going to take off running. And now he picks up a first tackle, does not fumble. That looks like a 15-yard gain, 14-yard gain by Jalen Hurts. Knuckle, thank you so much for the donation. Again, link below. Got these weird blue and red shirts at benchwarmerbrew.com as well. Code scripted. You write it into the script, and then the player fumbles. Pretty easy. Pretty easy, Jay. I'm just messing, Jay. I do not believe the NFL is scripted. All right. 14 yard gain. What are we going to do now, Philly? Hurts. Well, play action. Looking deep. Going deep. Oh, nearly picked off. He was looking for AJ Brown again. Thornhill also in coverage again. This time, he had a better chance to catch it than AJ Brown. Mm. Yeah, that's double coverage. That's a bad throw. Between McDuffie and Thornhill, I mean, the throw in terms of where that ball needed to go was all right. It was right between them, but that's dangerous. Second and 10 coming up. We're almost at 700 likes, by the way. Almost at 700 likes. Jalen Hurts. Dumps it off. Boston Scott. He makes a guy miss. Makes another guy miss. Another guy miss. And he picks up a first down. <clears throat> Did Boston Scott just make four dudes miss? Shakes McDuffie out of his boots. <laughs> he shake both in two. Wow. The elusive Boston Scott. Austin Scott for MVP. I was third. Are they going to say third and one? Yeah. So they're back at third and one. Where the whole mistake started. Back in QB sneak formation. This time they don't butcher it with the false start and they pick it up. BS, wrong J. I'll find you. There can only be one J. I am Zach. Just donated towards the Tom Brady painting. Thank you, Zach. Hell yeah, Zach. Link in the description for the longest day. The Alzheimer's Association, my page. <coughs> First and 10. Dumps it off again. That was Kenneth, Kenneth Gainwell. And he's going to pick up four. Uh, this is what you want? You asking for this? We ride and we die together. Saw that in the comments. All right. Second and six. Philly moving. Honestly, I thought the defenses would be a little better early. 
I mean, I know the Chiefs' defense just scored, but both teams have been able to move the ball pretty well. <clears throat> Hertz keeps it, trying to get to the edge, and he's going to lose a yard. Jalen, you got to hand it off more, buddy. Got to hand it off more. Yeah. I guess neither option was good. That was really good defense by Kansas City. I would say they played that perfectly. All right, third and seven. Hand off on third and seven. Ooh, not very much there. Two? So this is fourth and five. Right now, the Eagles' offense is staying on the field. There's 544 left in the second here. Wow. Philly's going to go for it? Barely across midfield? This is a big balls call by Nick Sirianni. Five wide. They're going to throw. Nope. Herbs is going to take off running. Oh, he picks it up to the 30, to the 20. Yeah, Nick Sirianni. I couldn't even hold them. They're so big. What a call. What a friggin' call. They spread the Chiefs defense out with the five wide receivers, and then Hertz just takes off running. That's 57 rushing yards for Jalen Hurts. <clears throat> Hand it off to Kenneth Gainwell. Right up the gut. He's going to pick up two, maybe three. I went to Nav's game on the 7th, and I swear I'm not going to another Colorado-Denver game. They always lose. Yeah. It's no fun when you pay the money, you go to the game, and they lose. And you wait a while, you go back, and they lose again. Just don't go. Last two Bronco games I went to, they lost. All right. Eagles, they driving. Jalen Hurts trying to make up for his costly mistake. Quick pass to Devontae Smith. He breaks it through the seam there. Tackled. Now he's slow to get up. <clears throat> now he's all right, I think. Now he's limping. Ankle got rolled up on the tackle there. I think he's going to be okay, but he wants to come off for at least a play here. That would be bad because Smith, uh, he's been he's been good so far. Yeah, his ankle kind of just gets caught up there. <clears throat> All right, what do we got? Third and three. Hertz hands it off to Boston Scott, and that's about two yards. See, that one felt like the play Hertz should have kept it. Looks like Philly's going to go for it again on fourth and two. Nick Sirianni, do not give a F. All right, Devontae Smith back out there. So he just needed one play to shake it off. What are the Eagles dialing up? They're going to try to get the Chiefs to move? Do they? <clears throat> they might have. Philly might have got the Chiefs to move. Oh, it is. Wow. Fourth and two. And they get the Chiefs to move. Oh, they're lined up over in the neutral zone. A little jump. They're over. Mm. Und. 
Undisciplined. All right, there's 233 left in this second quarter. Eagles knocking on the door here from the four. Hurts just going to run it in. Just runs it in for a touchdown. <laughs> oh, wow. We got a game. We got a game. Jalen Hurts has accounted for all of the touchdowns except for one in this game. Wow. Great blocking. Philly takes the lead back. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> yes, please put in Melvin Gordon. It'll balance out Jalen Hurts' fumble. I guarantee it. Extra point is good. We got a 21-14 ball game. That's a lot of scoring in the first half. Ooh, there's Gardner Minshew. Sexy. Loving seeing four down football. Texas sci-fi. Dang right. I love it too. This is a fun game. This is a fun game. Okay, here we go. We got 985 in here. Can we get to, ooh, we're four likes away from 700 likes. Can we get it? Worst play by a lineman in Super Bowl history. My Lord. Uh, yeah, it was not good. That was not a good play. Jalen Hurts is only uh, three incompletions today. That's really good. Mahomes only three as well, six and nine. Hurts 13 to 16. Each QB has a passing touchdown. Vic getting a ring. Vic. Mike Vic? Michael Vic? Thank you for returning, Garrett. Don't forget, guys, we are trying to raise $25,000, and I don't think we're going to hit it today. <laughs> it's slow moving. Uh, over at the Alzheimer's Association on my page, link below. Uh, appreciate everybody who has donated today so far. Um, we will get there eventually. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. But if we do get to 25 k I will pay to have this painted on canvas, and I'll hang this in my home for an entire year. Entire year. And I'll do I'll do the monkey tail beard again if necessary. That'll push the needle for donations. I'll do the monkey tail beard. I'll get the let's ride henna tattoo. If we get 100k, I'll do I do a real let's ride tattoo. Fangio. Oh, Vic Fangio. That's right. Well. He helped them for the last two weeks, right? <clears throat> and then uh, he's going to join the Dolphins tomorrow. Sorry, Vic and I are not on a first-name basis. I only know him as uh, Fangio. Yeah, I'm going to drop the Super Chats in there as well. The Super Chats aren't going uh, to charity. Because uh, I wanted to do it through my page. But I will don't I'll match whatever's donated today. Uh, I will just drop that into my page over here. So yes, 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 yes. Hertz wins MVP but loses. Thoughts? I mean, on this point, he's making a hell of a case. Whoa, he's making a hell of a case. All right, Chiefs got two twenty all timeouts, trying to get some points on the board before halftime. I'd be scared to try and force it here. They're going to do a screen to McKinnon. He picks up five. Last thing Kansas City needs 
is a mistake before halftime. It's the last thing they need. All right. Whoa, 3,922. More donos coming in. Appreciate it. Chiefs, quick pass there to Watson. Justin Watson. That's going to be enough for a first down. Chris Jones, angry on the sideline. Yelling, screaming. Well, they are getting dominated, the Chiefs uh, defensive front. <laughs> that's jess carmy and jess's brother just scooting along all right okay i'm really holding in this p this halftime p for the d we are at the two-minute warning. Kansas City's got about 65 yards to go for a touchdown. I think they'll be happy even if they get three. Uh, they will get the ball after halftime. What are the chances Patrick Mahomes makes a mistake in this game? <clears throat> a turnover, a fumble, a pick. I think very small. Julian Mitchell, $20 super chat. Love the content. Let's hope Sean can fix Russ in the meantime. Go Nuggets and Abs. Yes. Julian, I would uh if uh I would love for Ruck, Russ to be fixed by Sean. Let's get Gronk too while we're at it. And I think this is the Nuggets year. Got to be the Nuggets year, right? P for the bladder. <laughs> I think I can make it two more minutes. I think I can make it two more minutes. Did we cross 4000 for the fundraising? Ooh, $3,922 for the Alzheimer's Association. Yeah. Carm's not a bad driver. Not a bad driver. Sorry, I'm just thinking about how bad I have to be. <clears throat> All right. Two-minute drill. Chiefs are on the clock. Again, I would hate for Kansas City to make a mistake here. Want good, clean football. Good, clean football. Mahomes back to pass, going deep. Oh. Marquez Valdez-Scantling basically did a 360. I think he turned the wrong way. If he doesn't do that, I think he catches his ball. He had position. Mahomes put it on the right spot. That was a mistake by MVS. Scary how close your script is to this game. We'll see. Don't worry, I'll be replaying some of that video at halftime while I go to the bathroom. All right. Second and 10. <clears throat> oh, false start. Second and 15. Oh, good question. What do I have to do if I get 25K? Well, I'm going to commission this to be painted as art. And I will hang that art in my house for an entire year in my bedroom. One year of looking at this photo every day in my room. Also, I get Let's Ride on my knuckles in a tattoo. If we hit 100K, I get a real Let's Ride tattoo. 
Mahomes. Oh, he runs into a wall of his own lineman, bounces out, throws it away. We got a third and 15. Now the Eagles might have enough time to make something happen. Yeah, how many timeouts before I can pee? A lot. Uh, Daniel, I actually did not. Uh, they didn't make it into the one minute version just because there was so many. Um, I'm going to play that video as well at halftime, but on Twitter, I got the full video and champ and boss are definitely in that one, but I would never forget champ boss. You know, he only played a little bit third and 15 Mahomes got all day. He's trying to run, trying to run, going to tuck it. And then he's tackled. Oh, that tackle hurt his ankle, too. He is slow to get up. Oh, yeah, he was brought down by his feet. And that definitely, oof. Yeah, that definitely did not feel good for Pat. It, I'll put it in my bedroom, guys. That's what it takes to get to 25K. It will go in my bedroom. Yeah, oof. <clears throat> he gets both ankles there on the tackle. And that high ankle sprain, that cannot feel good. Uh, the good news is he will be going into halftime, and it's like a 38-minute halftime. It takes forever. Uh, he can get He can get the injection if he needs it. Chiefs are punting here. Fielded. 20, 30, 40. Midfield, 44-yard line. Eagles got two timeouts, a minute 22 to work with, up by seven. Can they get more points on the board? Ooh, a lot of sh a lot of stuff's happening in this. This game has basically been the opposite of all the playoff games so far. Uh, it's been exciting. There's been a lot of scoring. I guess though, it, when we're looking back at this whole half, outside that opening drive where the Chiefs scored their uh, their touchdown, their offense has been slowed by Philly's defense. So credit the Eagles' D for making some adjustments there. Of course, they got that second touchdown because Jalen Hurts fumbled and they scoop and score. Uh, but without that play, the Eagles would be up 21 to 7. Um, their defense playing a lot better after that opening series. Yeah, nobody likes to see Mahomes and his ankle getting re injured there. Uh, you know, that's the risk of playing on a high ankle sprain. And we know Mahomes was able to bounce back from it. But those those types of sprains just take a long time to heal. And when you're playing through it, you're just that's just that's the risk of it. It sucks because it's the Super Bowl and you don't want you want both teams putting their best product on the field. And obviously the Chiefs, uh, everything goes through my homes. <clears throat> I will be playing my uh, prediction, my scripted prediction at halftime. I don't even remember what I fucking said in that video, if I'm being honest, guys. I don't remember what I said. Oh, Chad Henney for Super Bowl MVP. Oh, wait, hold on. Rihanna will heal him. <laughs> That's just funny. That's funny. All right, first and 10 coming up for the Eagles when they get back. Rihanna could heal us all, couldn't she? Uh-oh, we got a grassy raid coming in. We got a grassy raid coming in hot before halftime. Well, thank you, Tom. What do we got? Oh, my God, and we jumped from... 3,900 to 5,122 raised 
for the Alzheimer's Association. Link in the description. Uh, Grassi Posse, you guys are freaking amazing. Quick pass here. Gainwell, he's going to pick up eight. Uh, amazing. Amazing, Grassi Posse. You guys just raised over $1,000 in minutes. Link in the description. This is my fundraising page. We're trying to get to $25,000. If I, Jalen Hurts going deep. Oh, he's got Devontae Smith. Is that a catch? I think that's a catch. Damn, double damn. Woo. Eagles are firing on all cylinders. Thank you, Josh. Oh, at the end there. I don't know, right at the end. Damn it. Automatic challenge. Uh, okay, if we raise $25,000, I am commissioning this to be painted on a big canvas. And this will hang in my home for an entire year. All right, I'm trying to look at this catch. You look at Tom Brady. I'll look at the catch. That looks like a catch to me. Ah, that's coming back, I think. One year, this will be painted and in my home. Also, let's ride. Henna tattooed on my knuckles. Grassy posse. Amazing. Uh, yeah, Jess was not happy about the uh, punishment for the fundraising goal. <clears throat> <laughs> I'll invite you all into my bedroom so we can all look at Tom Great Brady together. One, two, both feet are down. This should be a catch. This should be a catch. This is so close. He's like, it's possessed against his helmet after he's had two feet down, but it's this whole coming to the ground bullshit. Right? <clears throat> if you have possession while you have two feet in bounds and then it slightly moves after you hit the ground out of bounds, I don't think that should matter. I think this is going to come back based on the way they call this rule, but is halftime long enough to get Mahomes those blade prosthetic legs? Oh, shit. Tommy G dropping a K in there. Boom. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Grassy Posse. We're probably not going to hit our goal today, but we will get there over time. We will get to 25K. Humble, honored, appreciate your help, Tom. You are the man. You are the legend. Oh, God, I have to pee so bad, too. Honestly, if we get to 25K, I'll just pee my pants right now. If we get to 25K in the next minute, I will pee my pants live on the stream. Is that legal? Can I do that? Can I do that? Nope, I'm waiting till halftime to pee, guys. This booth review is taking forever. <laughs> this is a big play to overturn, though. Like, if you're a ref, this is a lose-lose situation. See, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. Okay, 
Obviously, yes. I would like that to have been a catch for the Eagles. But for the game of football, for the integrity of the game, if your receiver catches it, gets two balls inbounds, is holding the ball while going to the ground, it should be a catch. It just should be. I don't care if the ball kind of hits the ground and comes loose, especially if they maintain possession of the ball after it kind of comes loose. The catch rule is just shitty. I would be complaining about this if it screwed over the Chiefs. I really, really would. Probably not. But I might be complaining about this if it hurt the Chiefs. I don't know if I would. But you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right, first and 10. Eagles ran a, a sneak, got the first. Hurts has to throw it away here. They got 28 seconds. They still have two timeouts. But that play probably would have set him up for a friggin' touchdown. There's Chris Jones trying to go high for the QB sneak there. Wow, he timed that perfectly. But the Eagles line on these quarterback sneaks, they just get all the push. All the push. Post surface, thank you so much for your $20 donation. Eagles, 33 of 37 on QB sneaks. Wow. And, oh, that was close. Quick pass from Hertz to Devontae Smith. He's tackled immediately. Eagles probably got to use a timeout here. Yeah, they do. Oh, yeah. So I'm just looking at Twitter comments about the catch. There's always people who say that that shouldn't be a catch. I don't want to live in that NFL world. You can't, you get two feet down while holding the ball. It's secured while you're going to the ground. Silly. I think those should be catches for the Chiefs, too. All right, here we go. Third and four. Philly probably just trying to get into field goal range. Quick pass to A.J. Brown in the middle. He corrects back. He gets to the edge and out of bounds. Oh, they set that play up. They're just going to get a chunk play to the middle of the field, but A.J. Brown's got enough uh, room and the wherewithal to just turn it back in, stop the clock by getting out of bounds, and pick up, how many to get here? 22 yards. That opens the door for possibilities. Wow. In terms of scoring. First and 10 from the 20. Huge play. Huge play. Okay, Hertz dumps it off to Gainwell. He's tackled immediately. Philly going to have to use their final timeout. All right. Now they'll get the field goal. Setting up the field goal. Took a safe play there just in case it broke off. Try to extend their lead to uh, 10. And then I can pee. Oh, I will get to pee. All right, what do we got here? How long is this field goal? Thirty-five yarder, Jake Elliott. He's gonna make it. I feel it in my loins. Kick is up. <whistles> Down the gooch. Eagles go up twenty-four, fourteen. We're at fifty. 300 raise 5400 raise for the alzheimer's association link is in the description uh 
Perna, how long are you collecting money? My mom has that. Uh, sorry to hear that, Shannon. And I'd like to see if it can find a cure, but can't donate right at this minute. Uh, Shannon, I've been doing this every year. Uh, this fundraiser goes all the way to August. It's kind of like the deadline. Uh, so we'll be raising money then. You just focus on taking care of your mom. But anybody donating to the Alzheimer's Association, uh, money raised for this goes towards trying to find the cure. It goes towards uh, uh, awareness. And it goes towards uh, helping people find resources that they need to help loved ones who are suffering with uh, Alzheimer's. Um, that's a lot of what uh, my sister helped do when she was there. So just a lot, a lot of good coming from it. Um, we are at halftime. Rihanna's coming up. I do have to go pee. And while I'm peeing, I got a video to keep everybody entertained. Look what I got in the mail. Take a look. Take a good look. Not too close, though, because it is top oh, secret information that I'm about to disclose to all of you. And if in the near future I die or disappear we'll mysteriously and say a water skiing accident, I think you'll all know who's behind it. I don't water ski. Based on this script for the rigged Super Bowl and NFL season, I'm going to reveal what the NFL does not want me to reveal. How the Super Bowl is going to play out. Now, there's a large segment of the... Twitter population at Brandon Perna who literally believe the NFL is scripted. There's another sect that knows that's just what people say when their team loses. Spoiler though, Pennsylvania is not going to like what happens to their team on Sunday. I feel like we would be just like knock them dead team. <laughs> okay, I hear you. So if you think this is fake, well, how do you explain this? Page 20, Tom Brady retires. The Let's Ride crash leads to Sean Payton's return to coaching. Geno Smith, good. Feed him the line. I ain't right back. Everything is scripted. Today, let's see how rigged the Super Bowl will be. That's good sports. Super Bowl 57 in State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona? Oh, State Farm, you say? Kind of interesting that they just so happened to get their biggest spokesman uh, in the stadium they sponsor, isn't it? Jake from State Farm, I really want that personal price plan. So I'll admit it, I'm a bath bomb guy. Very convenient. Uh, by the way, that's how you know Aaron Rodgers really did suck this year. Otherwise, it would have been Rodgers versus Mahomes. Now, I've been pouring through this script, and like I showed you at the be beginning, we've got Tom Brady retiring, Patrick Mahomes as a Detroit Lion in 2028. Oops, oops sorry, I wasn't supposed to say that. Uh, 2023, here we go. I see a lot of dialogue here from head referee Carl Cheffers. You might remember Cheffers as the guy who ref the 2018 AFC Championship in Arrowhead Stadium. The guy who called this Roughing the passer, one of the worst calls in NFL history. Cheffers is a villain in Chief's kingdom and to all real football fans, but he's about to undergo a massive character shift in this game after getting some very favorable calls in their win over Cincinnati to get here. The Chiefs will once again see the laundry fall in their favor. They'll get a ticky tacky roughing the passer late in the third quarter. They'll get a phantom defensive holding call on third down and 48. The refs will even make up a new penalty on the spot that helps the Chiefs continue a crucial drive. It's all in the script. So just know when you hear a legal unbroken eye contact with the side judge unabated to the snap, 15 yards first down called on Eagle safety Reed Blankenship, that was written in uh, the script on page 32. The first quarter, like most Super Bowls, will be low scoring. Harrison Butker was just 18 and 24 on field goal attempts during the regular season due to his injuries. Uh, he's going to miss a field goal wide left on the Chiefs' first drive. Color commentator Greg Olson will then comment on Butker's unfortunate resemblance to disgraced film actor Army Hammer, at which point Fox will abruptly cut to commercial. Dude, 
You do not need to get that personal. Olsen will be replaced in the booth by new announcer Tom Brady. Kevin Burkhart won't skip a beat and he'll make no mention of the sudden change. Now the Eagles will run the ball a lot. They had the third most rushing attempts in the NFL this season and a league high 32 touchdowns on the ground, including well over 400 yards in their two playoff games, averaging 208 per game in the playoffs. The league wants to make this game longer so they can show more commercials. So expect a few holding calls, a few measurements, even a streaker to slow down the Eagles rhythm on offense, that clock eating offense. That streaker, by the way, it's going to be this woman from the acclaimed e-reality show, Catching Kelsey. Um, I'm just, I can't really like say anything else. Her motive for storming the field, as we will learn, following the game will be to cross over to the Chiefs sideline and injure star tight end Travis Kelsey with the baseball bat, Nancy Kerrigan style. Kelsey, though, will avoid the swing and rebound by catching a seven yard touchdown to start the second quarter, giving the Chiefs a seven to three lead over Philly. Viva la Vega! Uh, the cameras will cut to Travis Kelsey's mother, who will be wearing a half Chiefs, half Eagles jersey. She will at first be cheering and then suddenly look dejected, knowing the implications of the play on each of her two sons. Oh, and by the way, Travis and Jason Kelsey, not actually brothers. I won't explain because what is in that script? Oh man, it is more shocking than the Red Wedding. Now that will be Travis Kelsey's 16th career postseason touchdown, putting him one ahead of future Hall of Fame tight end Rob Gronkowski. Later, during the Fox halftime show, Gronk will acknowledge the moment by congratulating Trevor Kelsey. Millions will laugh. <laughs> How do people laugh? Thinking this was a classic goof by one of the silliest geese in NFL history, but in fact, it will be a passive aggressive dig by Gronk who silently laments that he never got to play with the truly great quarterback. Now midway through the second quarter, Patrick Mahomes will start to limp around, really playing up his fake high ankle sprain while the Eagles surge scoring three rushing touchdowns. Look for Mahomes to leave for the locker room a little early. Jalen Hurts will get treatment on his fake shoulder sprain, which magically appeared as soon as he had a legitimate chance to beat out Patrick Mahomes for league MVP. Funny timing, wouldn't you say? Uh, with a little under three minutes until halftime, Hertz's boo-boo will allow elite backup quarterback Gardner Minshew to enter the game. Minshew will expertly hand the ball off three times in a row, leading the birds into the red zone. And Jalen Hertz will wrestle away the glory, scoring on a read option from three yards out. The Eagles taking a big lead in the second on those three unanswered touchdowns. Unfortunately, there will still be 26 seconds left before intermission the double the time that Mahomes needs to get into field goal range. Army Hammer nails the kick this time, and we've got the Chiefs fighting to get back into it. Now, the NFL has never seen two teams this evenly matched in the Super Bowl. The NFL hasn't had a truly good Super Bowl since the Eagles and Patriots combined for 74 points. This will be the highest scoring Super Bowl since that game, even though both defenses have been very good in the playoffs. The Eagles, through two games, have only given up a total of 14 points. Seven to the Giants and seven to Christian McCaffrey. Chiefs fans are talking mad shit about the Eagles offense and defense, trying to say the Eagles pass rush isn't actually very good. Even though Philly had the highest sack rate in the NFL at 11.49%. Saying shit like Jalen Hurts will be exposed because he hasn't thrown for more than 154 yards this postseason. But what if we look at some similar opponents for these teams? They both played the Jags, the Cardinals, uh, and the Titans. The Eagles and Chiefs both beat all three of those teams. The Jags scored 20 and 21, while uh, KC and Philly put up 27 and 29. Uh, the Eagles blew out the Titans, and the Chiefs blew out the Cardinals. You both smashed the 49ers, but neither team had to face their best quarterback. Brock Purdy. Kansas City nearly lost to the Texans, while 
Billy handled them, and you both inexplicably played like shit against the Colts. My point, just like that scripted stat suggests, this may be the most evenly matched Super Bowl since Patriots versus Seahawks. And as you might have guessed, Russell Wilson was pretty pissed when he read the last page of that bad boy. Now the script does have each team's X factor on page 16, okay? For Philly, that man is running back Kenneth Gainwell, who has finally emerged as a real threat behind Miles Sanders. He gashed the Giants for 112 yards on the ground in the first playoff matchup, and will have a huge play off a screen pass in the fourth quarter for Philly. Gainwell's over under for rushing yards is just 18.5 in the Super Bowl, and folks, let's just say there's a reason his name isn't Kenneth Gain Poorly. The Chiefs placed uh, McCole Hardman on IR, activated running back Clyde Edwards, and on defense cleared corner Legereus Sneed from concussion protocol. That's a huge return for the Chiefs. Sneed's return really does make these two secondaries about even. Uh, an under-the-radar rookie stud has been corner Trent McDuffie for the Chiefs. McDuffie, though, is scheduled to get a big second-half interception. And on offense, when the Eagles finally figure out how to slow down Travis Kelsey, it will be Jarek McKinnon using his speed to blow past that aging Philly front when KC stretches them sideline to sideline. Each team has a complete game record on defense, okay? Hassan, the Chronicles of Reddick, for the Eagles, and Chris, I don't have a cool nickname, Jones, for the Chiefs. Now Jones finally notched his first postseason sack and added another against the Bengals, and the national media finally started talking about Hassan Reddick. Patrick Mahomes, even with the bum ankle though, is the most elusive QB on earth. Getting to him versus getting to Brock Purdy will be a much more daunting task for Reddick. Chris Jones hasn't faced a quarterback all season that can score squat 700 pounds, so tall orders for both guys. Since Travis Kelsey will get the glory of surpassing Gronk, Jason Kelsey and that Eagles line will get the glory of not allowing a single sack. That's right, Frank Clark, George Karloftis, and Chris Jones do not have the luxury of playing a Bengals offensive line, missing three starters in the Super Bowl, and not even the loftiest script writers can hash out a plot to tarnish the best line in Football. And yes, A.J. Brown's gonna have a very quiet game, but that's because NFL script writers started to feel bad for how hard Titans fans got fucked on the A.J. Brown trade. Philly, with a better offensive line, a better receiving core, and a better pass rush will still lose this game in the fourth quarter. Why? Because Patrick Mahomes is the best football player on earth, according to the script. Okay, with Tom Brady retired, the NFL needs a new, unstoppable villain. The Chiefs will be the first team to beat the Eagles this season that didn't hold them to under 100 rushing yards. When Philly runs for 190 in this game and still loses, that will be the biggest sign of rigging you have ever seen. Well, maybe since Cam Newton didn't dive on that football. The Chiefs will be trailing by 10 with eight minutes left in the fourth quarter. Philly will blast another field goal down the Gooch with 7.45 on the clock. A tribute to Tom Brady. Seven rings, 45 years old. Eagles fans will already be blackout drunk thinking they have this game in the bag. The Philadelphia Police Department will be greasing up every pole in the city with haste. With haste, I say. Unaware though that most Philadelphians have already evolved to secrete a sticky substance from their palms that allows them to climb any surface. But it's uh, a power they can only unlock after drinking 15 beers. Mahomes will then set a Super Bowl record for most passing yards in a fourth quarter, leading two touchdown drives of 98 and 88 yards, cementing his legacy as Showtime Mahomes. Finally, vindication for the ESPN nickname that just wouldn't stick. 
Jarek McKinnon will score the first comeback touchdown on a jet sweep reverse after the Chiefs play duck, duck, goose pre-snap, a play Andy Reid had a vision about while in a food coma back in June. Then Juju Smith-Schuster will catch the game, tying touchdown in the left corner of the end zone after Hassan Reddick fails to get to a scrambling Patrick Mahomes. A catch Juju has to jump so high for Chiefs fans can say Tyreek Hill would have been too short to haul that one in, vindicating his trade forever. After a penalty on the PAT pushes KC back 15 yards, Harrison Bucker will slam the 48-yard kick down the gooch in dramatic fashion as time expires. Mahomes wins Super Bowl MVP and is 20-3 and three against NFC teams during his short and tragic career. Oops, I wasn't supposed to say that part about tragic. Super Bowl parties are one of the highlights of the year, sports fan or not, but there's a few people you're going to want to leave off the guest list. I'm just here for the commercials person. Well, guess what, pal? You know where you can see those commercials? On YouTube. At home. The two invested in your team guy. If your team is playing in the Super Bowl, don't watch it at a big party. Uh, could everybody be quiet? I want to hear what Tom Rinaldi has to say about my third string long snapper. Shut up! The hipster who hates sports. The lowest score wins the sports ball game, right? Go team! Score a goal! We get it. You got bullied in high school. Let it go and let us enjoy the game. Not everyone who likes football is an asshole. Your uncle, who claims to have stopped paying attention to the NFL when they started letting players disrespect the flag and drafting Al-Qaeda onto teams. The sport's better. No one cares about your prop bets or the squares you got at work. I just got out of the bathroom. Did Miles Sanders hit 79 rushing yards yet? The contrarian. If everyone at the party is rooting for one team, this guy just has to root for the other one. Don't let those people into your party. Now you may have heard brothers Jason and Travis Kelsey made it to Super Bowl 57, so I wanted to build an entire NFL team made out of siblings, and it might be the best team ever. Starting with the Kelseys, you got center and tight end. Peyton and Eli Manning at QB, backed up by the Carr brothers, backed up by the Palmer brothers, backed up by the Hasselbacks, backed up by the McCown brothers. Then we've got a possible Hall of Fame receiver in Stephon Diggs and brother Trayvon Diggs. Devin and Jason McCourty at corner and safety. Chris and Kyle Long, defensive end and tackle slash guard. JJ, TJ, and Derek Watt, defensive end, edge and fullback. Nick and crybaby Bosa, edge and guy to blame the officials for everything and to get owned by Eagles fans. TJ and Teron Ward at safety and backup running back. And to really mold this team into a dynasty, give me Clay Matthews and the entire Matthews family. Oh my God, there's a lot of them. Add Mitchell and Jeff Schwartz and the offensive line is stacked. Michael and Eric Kendricks, linebackers. Trey Tremaine and Terrell Edmonds, linebacker safety and running back. Champ and Boss Bailey, corner and linebacker. Dustin and Britton Colquitt, two punters. Martin Gramatica at kicker, brother Bill to get injured while celebrating. The coaching staff can be the Harbaugh's and Rex and Rob Ryan. Matt and Ryan Khalil for guards and tackle. Michael and Martellus Bennett at tight end and defensive end. Rondé and Tiki Barber running back in a Another corner. Nick and Zach Martin both play center, as do Marquise and Mike Pouncey. That's five centers on this roster, which is weird. But give me Jason Kelsey as the starter, and everyone else can play guard or tackle. William the Fridge Perry had a brother named Michael Dean Perry, so there's our defensive interior. Also, Chris and Colin Jenkins. Then we got Shannon and Sterling Sharp at tight end and wide receiver. Throw in Gronk in whatever positions his brothers played, and we've got three Hall of Fame tight ends. So actually, I'll just trade Martellus Bennett and Joey Bosa for draft picks to select future Manning kids. And finally, Amon Ra and Equinemia St. Brown to fill out the receiving roster. And if anyone in the secondary gets hurt, I'll just throw in one of the four Fuller brothers or one of the three Trufant brothers. And that's a full roster of brothers. Oh, we back. We back. Are you enjoying the halftime show? <sighs> Made myself a little hot toddy. My bladder feels better. Hung out while Carmi was dancing to the halftime show. It was so adorable. I don't know. So far, seems pretty good. <clears throat> Like we can obviously make fun of the halftime shows, but the production they put in this shit is insane. It is an insane production. Yeah, I probably know like two and a half Rihanna songs, but this stuff looks pretty cool to me. Looks pretty cool. 
Yeah. Hot toddy. Felt like, uh, you know, I need a little tea, a little lemon ginger, grassy uh, tea on the throat for the remainder of the uh, game call. Josh Allen is a real QB. Mahomes is an overpaid, fragile fraud. Whoa, glad the birds are flipping the script. I would say Mahomes is a real QB. But I appreciate the passion. Am I bleeding? Am I? I don't think so. I don't think I'm bleeding. I wasn't peeing that whole time, although... It was probably one of the longest peas I've ever taken. I like these raising platforms. <clears throat> Got a problem, tell me now. <clears throat> Oh, boy. I could have stayed up, upstairs longer, couldn't I? I forgot to ask, what's your take on Gratishar and Shanahan both missing the Hall of Fame vote again? It's like they truly hate Denver. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the the Gratishar stuff, that's a hard pill to swallow because he was so good. But it happened so long ago. I like, you know, I don't know. I think he'll get in hopefully eventually. The Shanahan stuff doesn't make any sense uh, based on, you know, a lot of other coaches that have gotten in. But Mike Shanahan should 100% be in there. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, again, it was a long P. It was a long P. And I sat down. Cause I knew it was going to be so long. I was like, my legs, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to be tired. I'm not going to be tired. <clears throat> Halftime show is long. It was very long. Do you think the Eagles will keep pace in the second half? Biggest challenge is taking this long of a break and then coming out, out of that, maintaining your pace, your momentum. Just trying to let Rihanna have her moment, you know? Why should I talk over her performance? <clears throat> She's flying up into the air. How high is she? That's dangerous. Is she strapped onto that thing? Is she wearing a strap on to keep her safe up there? Shine bright like a diamond. Oh, yeah, she sings that one, too. She's really high up there, though, guys. Is that the closer? Is that the closer? Oh, I think that's the finale. Or is there a little something else? Nope, she took out the ears. We, she took out the ears. It'd be crazy to do the halftime show. It's a, such a high pressure situation. No thanks. I would not want to do that. I like low pressure, live streaming during football. 
All right. Football should be coming back very soon. Don't forget, we're working on trying to raise $25,000 for the Alzheimer's Association. We're, let's see here, we're one-fifth of the way there. One-fifth of the way there. We will be, I don't think we're going to get there today, but we will do another. And if we have to do another, we will do it. <clears throat> all right so i guess like the big thing coming out of halftime will be patrick mahomes ankle uh he was tackled on his last that last series by kansas city he got up limping looked like he was in a lot of pain probably gonna get another shot at halftime we'll see how he plays through that um already saw him play through it against the jags and he did uh he did just fine looked totally fine the next week so we'll see but that's the next factor that's the next factor who okay i see uh, yeah a lot of people look at making their uh their picks for who they'd like to see at the halftime show who you, your favorite band you want to see at the halftime show? Who is it? Who do you want to see there? Honestly, mine would be Led Zeppelin, but we're kind of past that date. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Who would I want there? Who would be my number one? Probably a White Stripes reunion only for the Super Bowl halftime show. And they just play three full songs. None of this mashup shit. Just give me three or four full White Stripe songs, Jack and Meg White back together. Two-piece band, nothing flashy. Actually, it's just Meg on her drums, Jack on his guitar, nothing around them at the 50-yard line. Boom. <clears throat> That's what I want. Took halftime show with Trent Resber. <laughs> Trent Reznor? Trent Resber. AC, DC. I can mess with that. I can mess with that. Weird Al? Okay. Okay. Confirming my... White stripes. Okay, tool. Tool with Trent Reznor. Ah. Okay. I mean, we're getting that's we're getting that's like dark music, right? Which you know, I listened to some tool in high school. Uh, I think everybody listened to nine inch nails at some point. Trent Reznor's obviously done a lot after all that. I don't think they'd ever be considered, though. Tool. They can play, like, one and a half song. Yeah. I know. Was it Tool? What's it was after Tool? Their same band, but it was a different name. Tame Impala or Tenacious D would be fun. That would be fun. Tenacious D would be fun. I'm not, like, a over-the-top Tenacious D guy. I like them, but that would be fun. RKS? No, that's a show just for Tom and I. Green Day would be good. Green Day would be very good, actually. <clears throat> I've never seen Green Day live. and that, They have a huge catalog now. But the only thing I've heard from people who've seen Green Day is that they put on an amazing live show. Jason Tarr, thank you for joining as a member. Sorry, I missed that, but thank you, Jason. Oh, there it is. Bam. Fits in the tantrums. Okay. Okay. 
Godsmack, Guar, Def Leppard. <laughs> yeah, Green Day. Okay. CCR. Okay, Maroon 5. Now we're being funny. Oh, Perfect Circle. That's right. That was Tool 2.0. Need a Ciara, Denver Broncos, Super Bowl. Okay. Ramstein. You guys all like, all like the metal. Probably not a popular choice, but I'd love to see Blackpink. I don't even know who that is. Disturbed, Hootie and the Blowfish, Blink-182, My Chemical, Ro My Chemical Romance, Kanye West, Justin Bieber. What if it's Hootie and the Blowfish, but it's the lead singer from Godsmack filling in for Hootie? Uh, yeah, I would love to see Greta Van Fleet. I saw them live at Red Rocks. They've been, they've been my favorite band for the last, I don't know, however, few years. They've been the one I've listened to the most. So I agree. I agree. Greta Van Fleet is a band that I remember the exact moment I first heard them. And I was in the shower. I was like, wait, how come I've never heard this Led Zeppelin song? <laughs> I literally got out of the shower, stopped my Spotify so I could see who it was. Chili Peppers, NSYNC, Foo Fighters would be pretty pretty cool. I like Foo Fighters. Slipknot, Michael Bolt, Bolton. Uh, they could do a, a Bolton like comeback thing. Rancid. Black coat, white shoes, black hat, Cadillac. Yeah, the boys of time bomb. Mr. McLean, you tried golf disc, disc golf yet? Damn it. Hey, Mr. McLean, you tried disc golf yet? Have not. All right, I like all the Greta Van Fleet I'm seeing here. Seeing them at Red Rocks was pretty cool. Oh, Incubus, that takes me back. That takes me back. System of a down. Ooh, get the Tupac hologram. Ooh. I like. I like. All right, here we go. Primus. Boom. Let's just get all base. Give me that basey, basey Super Bowl. Les Claypool. Who tried out for Metallica? And they're like, this guy's too good. Fun fact. All right, here we go. 14 24, Eagles up by 10. No word on Mahomes, uh, but he's out there. Obviously, going to play through the pain. It's the Super Bowl. That's what you do. We're back from halftime. Don't forget donations in the link below to the Alzheimer's Association. Trying to get to 25K. Bring up that scoreboard. Here we go. First play is a handoff to Pacheco. He gets the edge. Pushed out of bounds there. He picks up six. Pacheco always running angry. Angry. He's running fast, and he looks like he's just looking to hit somebody. I would actually love to see that as a full-on halftime show. Nice, Richard. Nice. All right, second and three. Coming up for the Chiefs from the 33. Another handoff to Pacheco. Right side, he picks up two this time. Tackled out of bounds by Hassan, the Chronicles of Reddick, which I believe they're making a new Chronicles of Riddick. <clears throat> Third and one for the Chiefs. Two straight runs. Probably trying to, uh, one, give Mahomes a couple plays to ease back in here. Two, really start to get the Eagles to commit to the run. Let's see what they do. Third and one. It is a weird handoff. McKinnon, he got a big gain here. Drops his shoulder. He picks up 14. 
tackled by C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Little counter. Weird little counter play. The score is 24-14. Uh, I got it up here for you to see. There you go. Eagles up by 10. All right. Mahomes, three straight runs after halftime. Now he's looking to throw under duress. He's nearly sacked, but he gets the ball off to Kelsey. That's a hell of a play. 10 yards, 11 yards, another first down. <clears throat> Damn. That's a low throw to Kelsey. I don't know how Mahomes got that ball out of there. Dear God. He's getting sacked. He still gets the ball out of there. Is that Jordan Davis falling on him? Only Mahomes, right, guys? Right, guys? First and 10, Chiefs at the 41 and a half. Little jet sweep. Sky Moore falls down, or he could have had Sky Moore yards. <laughs> But he fell. He slipped, okay? He slipped. All right. What do we got? Almost at 1,000 likes. Can we get to 1,000 likes? We're 27 away. 27 away from 1,000. Dead Kennedys actually listened to one of their songs today while I was exercising. Mahomes, complete again. Justin Watson, 12-yard gain. And the song I listened to was Too Drunk to Fuck. So it's in my Spotify playlist. I kind of forgot about the Dead Kennedys for a while. All right. <clears throat> Another first down. Chiefs moving the ball easily, just like they did on their opening series of the game. Maybe they're they're giving the Eagles some new looks here. I don't know. They're at the 25. Patty hands it off. Just a heavy dose of running. McKinnon, McKinnon, Pacheco, Pacheco. This one's McKinnon for eight. McKinnon, did he slip here too? Is the field a little slippery? There we go. <clears throat> All right, second and two. No, second and four. It's going to be second and two because I'm from the future. Mahomes nearly sacked, but isn't. <clears throat> oh, he's taking off running. Wow. Oh, no. I don't know what I'm talking about. Down at the five. How can you not tackle a hobbled Mahomes? The Eagles should have had him twice, and he gets away. Is he the hardest quarterback to tackle? Oh, there was nobody there. He just kind of tripped. And then he picks up 14 Chiefs at the five, knocking on the door. What are you going to do? From the four, Mahomes back to throw. It's a screen. It's short. McKinnon's about a yard short. Uh, Chiefs are not trying to throw downfield right now. I think, I don't know if that was their plan coming out of half or if that's kind of what they adjusted to because of Mahomes' ankle. But they're letting everything set up right there at the line, and it's been working. Okay, from the half-yard line. I would imagine another handoff here, guys. <clears throat> if not, just double. Double Travis. Prepare for the handoff. They run in motion. They do hand it off. It's Pacheco for a touchdown. Twenty to twenty-four. Opening drive. Five and a half minutes. Wow. Eagles really. Would have been sitting in a decent spot if they could have just gotten a stop coming out of halftime here. But uh, what are you going to do? It was a lot of good play calls. And the kick down the gooch. We got a 21-24 ball game. <clears throat> it is Pacheco 
on the carry. We crossed a thousand likes. Gracias. We raise any more dollars yet? 5680 for the Alzheimer's Association. Yeah, we did 150 that uh, that last round there. Link is in the description. Again, if we hit $25,000, I'm having this turned into a painting, and I will hang it in my house for an entire year. Okay? Okay. Link below. Oh, is this the Nike show? Is this the Nike movie? Yeah. This right here? If you're here? A little tea, a little hot toddy, a little tea, a little honey, a little whiskey. Ah, Got to keep that throat coated, you know? <clears throat> That's the question I was answering. Sometimes I just say shit because I see the comment. <laughs> Realize maybe you don't know what I'm talking about. Hey, hey, don't worry. If you can't donate, don't sweat it. Uh, just retweet uh, my tweet with the link to the stream. Thumbs it up. Whatever. Spread the word. We'll get there. We'll get there. It's an important charity. Uh both my grandparents had Alzheimer's. My sister worked for the Alzheimer's Association for several years. Uh, so I support them, support what they do, provide a lot of services, a lot of different things, which is what uh, I think makes it a very good charity. And we'll get there. Oh, Gronk's about to kick his field goal. Gronk kicking for $10 million? Oh, did he miss it? He missed it. Gronk missed it. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Gronk missed the kick. FanDuel's 10 million did not happen, but it still did, right? Elon Musk is at the game. Let that sink in. All right. <clears throat> Talking about the field conditions now, saying a lot of players are slipping. Eagles saying guys are changing their cleats at halftime. How do they not have good field condition for the Super Bowl? All right. Eagles, first play, quick pass. Fumble. Was it a fumble? Chief score? Dear God, no. Nick Bolton on the touchdown, if this stands. Is this a catch? One. That's not a catch. That's not a catch. That's not if the if Devontae Smith's catch wasn't a catch, that's not a catch. Wow. Ruling on the field is a catch, a fumble, and a touchdown. This is gonna this is gonna get looked at. This is gonna get looked at. Oh my god.
this can't be a catch. Show it in real time. I know it shouldn't be a catch, but if they rule this a catch, will anybody be surprised? Is the fix in, guys? This can't be a catch. <laughs> My God. All right, Chiefs coming back out. I think uh, I think we're going to avoid controversy. All right, Carl Sheffers. No catch. Official ruling. Yeah. It's all... <laughs> Thank you, Jonathan. <laughs> Thank you, Jonathan. All right. What would have happened to the internet if that was rule they uh, catch? I think, I think the internet might have broken forever. I think we would be without internet. <laughs> All right, so second and ten after that incomplete pass. Jalen Hurts, quick pass. A.J. Brown falls down. I think he's going to get about four here. Ooh, little... Pushing and shoving after the play there. A little pushing, a little shoving, no flag. A.J. Brown slips. How is the, the Super Bowl football field not perfect? There's no excuse for that. No excuse that the turf conditions at the Super Bowl are not ideal. Embarrassing. All right, third and six coming up for the Eagles. They need to convert here. They do not want to give up their lead. All right. Hertz has time going deep. Godert holds on. Dallas Goddard holds on. Wow. What a conversion here. What a big play by the big tight end. Oh, my God. Justin Reed nearly. Picks it up. I think he gets a hand on it. Goddard still catches that. Wow. Wow, wow, we. All right. Quick pass. There you go. Quez Watkins going to pick up seven. Slippery Tacoma 31 golf grass turf game. Yeah, they're saying it's some sort of new grass or some shit. I don't know. All right. Eagles moving again past midfield. Fake handoff. Hurts looking. Got to throw it away. Probably should have handed that one off. Third and three coming up. The Talladega of the NFL. It's Talladega. Always bad racing conditions. I don't know much about race cars. <clears throat> Is Talladega the one where those race cars go like real fast? Go real, real, real fast? Okay, third and three, big play again, Philly. I think they're in four-down territory. Hand it off, Gainwell. Oh, 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 first down, Philly. Uh-oh, we got a fitty. We ride and we die together. Thank you, D. Marie Dubow. Just drop by and to say hi. Best wishes on your fundraiser. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right. First and 10. Coming up here, Philly. What you going to do? Oh, Hurts. Got all day. He's going to take off running. He picks up three. I know that Talladega reference. I know that one. Ricky Bobby, baby. Ricky Bobby. And uh, John C. Riley. <laughs> I don't remember his character's name. Talladega Knights. Second and nine. <clears throat> Fourth 
from the 42. Seven play drive. Hurts going deep. Oh, Quez Watkins in and out of his hands. This is another great throw by Jalen Hurts, but it can't can't come down with it. <clears throat> Hurts' shoulder looks fine to me. Dear God. You got to catch that, Quez. What the fuck? Oh, my God. It's right through his hands. Oh, you got to catch that, Quez. Eight seconds on the play clock. Five. Third and nine. Oh, are they going to get this off? Nope. Delay a game. Fudge. The Eagles, like, their only two mistakes they've made this game are that false start followed by the Hurts fumble and then Quez Watkins not catching that ball there. <clears throat> Other than that, they've, you know, you give up two touchdowns to the Chiefs offense, you're, you expect that shit. Uh, other than that, they've just been so good. And now, delay a game on third down. Can they, can they convert? Come on, Hurts, do something. Do something crazy, Jalen. Third and 14. Oh, Goddard catches it. Holy shit. What a catch. My God, Goddard. Giving Kelsey a run for his money right now. What a catch. They got the playoff. What the fuck? Penalty flag now? Oh, he's got two feet. They're re-looking at this play. One. Left foot down. Foot. That's a catch. Dear God. All right, so there's some substitution thing happening here. Now we're getting like 10 looks at this catch. All right, Chiefs, I don't think they're going to challenge this because it's too close. All right, Eagles run the play. Fuck, the challenge flags out. <laughs> it, is this already one of the best Super Bowls? a good Super Bowl so far, for sure. Very good so far. It is very windy here. Drove semi from Nashville. I would not want to drive a semi in the wind. I used to do this stretch on I-70, and every now and then, super windy, and you'd see semis tipped over from the wind. So glad you made it. I think it's still a catch. I think he gets both feet in. Like, he does, he double grabs it, but by the time he gets the ball the second time there, I think his foot's still down. That's a catch. That's a catch. Okay, so now we got to wait for this review on the Dallas Goddard catch. I think this is a catch. I'm not being biased, okay? Uh, he did, he bobbled it, but I think when he got his hands back on it, his back foot was still down, and then he gets the second foot, foot down. Looks like a catch to me. Again, none of us know what the fuck a catch is, 
So whatever they rule, I will disagree with. And uh, we'll just continue living in a world where we watch football every week and none of us know the rules. <laughs> none of us know what the rules of football are. Oh, boy. Please don't let this be a, uh, a non-catch. <clears throat> That was a huge play. That was a third and 16, too. So if they call this back, that's a that's a that's that's a tough one to bounce back from. Eagles have only punted once in this game, right? They only had one punt so far. As it stands, 17 yard gain for Dallas, and because the uh, Eagles substituted, uh, they had to give the, the Chiefs time to substitute, and uh, the refs for, didn't get the clock set right or some shit. I don't know. So that's why they got a, a longer look at it. Andy Reid and the Chiefs challenge. I would never use the word obviously when we're talking about NFL officials uh, making a call. Yes, you're right this time. That's a catch. That's a catch. Woo. They got It's the right call, though. If it was Travis Kelsey doing the same thing, I'd be making the same argument. All right. They got it right. Okay, we got a thousand people in here for Super Bowl Sunday. Can we get up to 1100 likes? Don't forget to check out my charity link in the description. We're trying to raise $25,000 for the Alzheimer's Association. <clears throat> okay, from the 30, 555 on the clock. Chiefs lose a timeout for the failed challenge. Eagles hand it off. Miles Sanders has a crease. It closes, though. That crease closed, but he picks up four. I thought he was about to spring through. Oh, boy. All right. Second and six. <clears throat> Eagles... Need a touchdown. God, do they need a touchdown. Field goal is a failure in this situation. Hand off. Miles Sanders. I think he gets five, need six. So we got a third and one. Are we getting another Eagles QB sneak? QB sneak. QB sneak. They've already run it three times. Converted two, false started one. Let's get a fourth, maybe a fifth even. <clears throat> Thank you, Laura. Thank you for the super chat, Laura. All right, not doing the QB sneak here. Oh, they are. Oh, no, pitch out. Nice play call. Oh, my God, but he doesn't get it. Wow. Wow. Who came in there and dropped the shoulder? This is a hell of a hit. They, sh they should have had this. This is a great play by the Chiefs defense. I like the play call. That was Bolton. Now they're going to do their QB. Now they're going to do the QB sneak. Fourth and one. Chiefs substituting. Refs giving them time. Jalen Hurts, they got it. They got it. I never thought I'd say this, but the Eagles running a quarterback sneak <laughs> might be my favorite offensive play.
All right. So first down. <laughs> That's demoralizing. <clears throat> Hertz looking to throw. He's got time. Rolling. Trying to get past big number 99. And about a no gain here. I just want to watch the Eagles run more QB sneaks at this point. MVP of the game, quarterback sneak. Okay, so that's actually credited as a sack because Philly loses a yard. Wow, first sack of the game. It was, uh, who's the big dude for Kansas City? Second and 11, Hurts. Incomplete to Dallas Goddard. What the hell is that dude? Uh, Colin Sanders. Yeah, that's the big man. <clears throat> He's quick. It's like 300 pounds and fast. QB sneak party. Dick Hammer, you're certainly invited. All right. Third and 11. I don't think you can run a QB sneak here. Honestly, though, if the Eagles did and they succeeded, wouldn't surprise me. All right. What happened? Eagles have to blow a timeout. Sloppy, weird drive here. This is what I thought the first quarter would look and feel like. All right. Well, time out. Well, time out wasted by each team on this drive. Philly staring at a third and 11. They already picked up a third and 16 with that pass to Dallas Goddard. And now, what do they got? This is a long-ass drive. How long have they been on the field? Jesus, criminies. Think about seven minutes. Seven full minutes so far. <clears throat> All right. Hertz looking to throw. Has his man, Kenneth Gainwell. A bunch of Chiefs are there. He picks up five, but not enough. Not enough. All right. Jake Elliott kicked a field goal right before halftime. And uh, I believe he'll be coming out here on fourth and sixth. <clears throat> It'll give him a six-point lead. So, you know, whatever. Huge stop for Kansas City. Uh, Eagles defense needs to answer with no points. Jake Elliott's kick is up, and it is down the gooch. All right, 27-21. We still got a ball game. Still got a ball game. Art, but make it sports. I swear to God is the best Twitter follow you'll see. Art, but make it sports. I just retweeted him. Oh. Okay, 27-21. It's a good Super Bowl. We got a good Super Bowl. <laughs> so much better than uh, the last Rams-Patriots Super Bowl. That might have been the worst Super Bowl I've ever watched. And I watched the Broncos get blown out by the Seahawks. Okay? <laughs> Jalen Hurts, 22-31. Don't forget how much money have we raised over at the Alzheimer's Association? Ooh, can we cross the six thousand? Five thousand eight hundred and eighty dollars. We're chipping away, trying to get to twenty-five 
thousand dollars. <throat> Twenty-five thousand dollars, and we're gonna give it to charity. If you do a donation, I'll stop singing like this. If you like me singing like this, then don't do a do no, no no, don't do a do no, cause I'll keep going. That might be the whiskey talking from my hot toddy. <laughs> also. Not charity related. We got these red and blue pixelated gaming old video game or something shirts at benchwarmerbrew.com. Today, today only, Super Sunday, promo code scripted over at Bench Warmer Brew gets you 15% off. We got the losers blend of coffee for whichever team loses. And Cole DeRue's, you guys know Cole. Chiefs YouTuber. He's got his own coffee blend there as well. If you want to support Cole, check it. Do it. Live it. Love it. Dream it. Fuck it. All right. NFL goes to commercial. I promote stuff too. That's the way we're doing it. <clears throat> All right. Philly about to kick the ball back to Kansas City. Oh, Eagles 17 plays on that drive. Most plays on a single drive in Super Bowl history. Most plays on single drive in SB. Yeah, that was a very long drive. <clears throat> very, very time consuming uh the good thing about that drive even though philly only got three is it keeps kansas city on the sideline maybe disrupts their momentum their timing because they were they were going dump it off screen here to kelsey but he's tackled right away not a screen just a short throw to it i don't fucking know football two yard gain <clears throat> i am selling coffee while drinking tea I'm drinking Tom's tea bag. His lemon ginger, which we sold out of. Um, and I drink coffee in the morning. Ooh, an espresso grind. Okay, Laura. I hear you. All right, second and seven. Mahomes, quick pass. Juju Smith Schuster. He's going to pick up seven and a half, maybe eight. First down, Kansas City. <clears throat> Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, Chiefs at the 35. Mahomes in shotgun. Trying to gain the lead with the touchdown on this drive. Hand off here to Pacheco. He's going to pick up a first down or maybe just shy of a first. Eagles defense, uh, they need to pick up the intensity. <clears throat> This is like exactly what happened in that Jaguars game. Kind of looked like Jacksonville was getting a little bit of momentum. Uh, Mahomes injured his ankle. This game, final series there, he hurts his ankle again. And since that time, though, you think, oh, maybe this will slow him down. No, they look better. How do the Chiefs look better the more injured Mahomes get? Just another punishing run here by Isaiah Pacheco. <clears throat> Mr. Mike Barksdale, thank you. Thank you for all the super chats today. Good luck with your charity. I can't get the link to work here across the globe. You're a good dude. Hey, I appreciate the support. This $50 you donated will be going to it anyway, so you supported it. Appreciate it. There's the link right there. Down low. $50, that deserves a... What do we got? What do we got? Yeah. <laughs> 
get him. <clears throat> oh. All right. Eagles, stop the run. Force Mahomes to throw. Never thought I'd be saying that shit. You got to stop that run, though, Philly. You got to stop that run. Holy shit. Somebody made a big dono. Who the hell made a, that huge dono? We went from 58 to 7,267. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I wonder. I can. I bet I can find it. Let me see here. Which order is this in? Huh? Oh, come on, Internet. Load properly. Lots of donos today. Everybody who's supporting the charity, uh, I can't thank you enough. Can I go the right way here? Laura Ward dropped a hundo. Heidi Canis dropped a hundo. Did all those just come in that quickly? What the hell just happened? Maybe this is behind. Yeah, this is behind. Damn it. Anyway, whoever made the huge dono, thank you. Everybody donating whatever you can. I appreciate it. It's a charity. I respect the hell out of one that's close to me, my family. You guys are friggin' amazing. Super sticker. Thank you. Oh, wow. <clears throat> there we go. That's my sister. She's the one who worked at the Alzheimer's Association, got me involved with this. She did great work there for several years. Appreciate it. Uh, she's the reason anybody. Uh, it, she's the reason I do nice shit is my sister. Oh, my God. Completion here. Bye. Mahomes to Juju Smith-Schuster for a first down. Okay. Okay. That was a 14-yard gain. I said make Mahomes throw. Boy, did I eat my words. How was Goddard to catch, but the other dude didn't have possession on the turnover? The league is embarrassing. Uh, the other, the are you talking about the Chiefs? Touchdown that was negated because there was a play earlier where Devontae Smith had more possession than that guy, and it was overturned. Defense offsides. Eagles are falling apart on defense. Yeah, he was offsides, obviously. First and five for Kansas City. They are driving. <clears throat> At the, what are they at, the 25? They at the 25 already? These sons of bitches. Okay, come on, Philly. You need to force a turnover, Philly. You need a game-changing play on your defense. Mahomes looking to throw. Wide open. Juju Smith-Schuster on the sideline. He's got another first down. Kansas City's at the 12. I feel like my prediction is coming too true, too, too true. All right, Chiefs on the 12. If Philly can hold them to a field goal here, it will be a big win. Kansas City scores a touchdown. They could go up by one. Mahomes across the middle, complete. Is it Juju again? Six? Three. What? Three-yard gain. <clears throat> Just one sack in this game. That's crazy. 
both of these teams great at getting after the quarterback. Eagles obviously obviously led the league in in sacks this year. One sack in the Super Bowl. It's almost like these offenses designed game plans to avoid sacks. McKinnon running to the left. I think he picks up about four. We got a third and short coming up for Kansas City. Do you think they will change sneak rules after this game? It seems like every third or fourth and one is just boring to see now. No, because almost no teams run the sneak like the Eagles do. All right, Philly. Can you hold? Can you hold? Third and three. Patty and shotgun. Could oh, it's a quick pass to Tony. Nobody's there. Wow. He sold the shit out of this. He starts to sprint in motion. Philly overcorrects. He goes back. And there's nobody there. This is just undisciplined defense. Yeah. They got confused. They got confused. They over pursue. They're trying to switch coverage. Wide open, easy touchdown for Kadarius Tony. Uh, look, I know yeah, I've said it in this stream. Patrick Mahomes is great, right? He's great. That's all Andy Reid right there. That's an Andy Reid. Genius play design, giving Mahomes an easy touchdown from the six-yard line or whatever. Jesus Christ. Oh. <clears throat> All right. The Kansas City Chiefs take the lead for the first time in this game. Okay, wow. 12 minutes left in this football game. <clears throat> Whoa. <laughs> Missed my armrest. Um, now, Philly just ran an incredibly long drive. Very long drive. Could they take 12 minutes off the clock? Score a game-ending truck touch? Truck down, truck down on this series, touchdown on this series. This is why I don't drink whiskey on the stream. I already struggle with words enough. I don't need booze slowing down my motor skills. <clears throat> Every time I do it, I say I'll never do it again. Here I am. Here I am again. Okay. Do you think Philly can end it on this series is what I was trying to say. Anybody score a truck down? Yay. The one thing about doing the live stream is I don't really get to see the commercials. I don't get to see any of the good ones or any of the bad ones. I'm not paying attention. Both QBs have been have been good, but Jalen Hurts has been better than I thought. Just that one fumble, that one costly fumble. Uh, but he's been really good. We get a kick return? Nope. No returns. Chiefs. Fired up on the sideline. 
Eagles, uh, Eagles defense got to step it up. They've given up two touchdown drives in the second half. Obviously been the difference. And of course, Philly not being able to punch it in on that last series. I feel like they need to score kind of quick here. Like six plays, touchdown. Oh, Hertz gets that ball off. Holy shit, what a catch by Dallas Goddard. He's been impressive. He's been like Travis Kelsey. <clears throat> Hertz is under pressure here. Throw. I thought he was just throwing this away. Then Dallas Goddard just reaches over the linebacker. Leo Chanel hauls this one in. What a catch. What a catch, Dallas. <laughs> Chanel's hand was in there, too. That was fashionable. It was real fashionable. Okay, second and five. Come on. Where's A.J. Brown? Get the ball to A.J. Hand oh, I should have hit it. Oh, that was a quick pass to Zach Pascal. Thought they were going to hand it off here, but they throw it over the top to Pascal. He's immediately tackled. Three yards, third and short. This is how the Eagles have feel like they've ran so many of their series. Outside that one big touchdown to A.J. Brown, it's like four yards, three yards, third and short. And if they don't convert on third and short, they pick up like two, and then they just go for it on fourth and one. What are you going to get? Oh, fuck. Third and two. I just saw it on Yahoo. Chiefs bring heat. Hertz is under pressure. Throws it away. Damn. Is that a three and out? The last thing they needed. Now they got to rely on their defense to do something. Willie Gay bringing the pressure. Philly punting for the second time today at the worst possible time. Trailing by one, 10-33 in the fourth. There's the punt. Short, very short. Tony reverses directions to the 50, to the 40, to the 30, 20. Oh, he steps out, I think. He's tackled at the five. What a fuck up by Philly. Just a bad punt. Terrible coverage. Big play from Kadarius Tony. And now the Chiefs are in position to go up by eight. God damn it. 38-yard punt. A 38-yard punt. Maybe the giant should have kept Kadarius Stoney. I don't know. From the five, handoff to Pacheco. He picks up one. If the Eagles can somehow hold Kansas City to three points here, it'll be a huge win. Oh, the Chiefs did some stupid play. They ran in a circle. Ball is snapped. Mahomes looking to throw. Reddick's coming. Throws it away. All right, so third and goal. What is this dumb shit? Another merry-go-round thing. Oh, my God, that almost was a duck-duck goose. Did I predict that? Did I predict a duck, duck, goose? Getting a little too cute there. Third and goal. Come on, Philly. Come on, Philly. Pick six. Get crazy. 
throw a bad pass. Eagles bring the heat. Oh, my God. And nobody is covering Sky more because they blitzed. How do you, what undisciplined, stupid defense. You can bring a blitz, but maybe have somebody still covering the, the receiver out there. Where the hell is he even lined up? It's the same shit. They faked the motion and there's nobody there. Oh my God. Oh my God, Philly. Broncos Super Bowl record was just broken. Longest punt return. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna acknowledge that. I refuse to acknowledge that. Wow, they're just getting burned pre-snap. All that shit setting up those plays is Kansas City's pre-snap window dressing. It's impressive. I'm just amazed that they fell for it twice. They fell for the same shit twice. It was just on the opposite side of the field. That first one, it was Kadarius Tony, Tony in motion, and then he comes back and then goes back again. Nobody's covering him. That last play, Sky Moore goes in motion, comes back. Nobody's covering him because the Eagles sent the house. Dear God. It's why I believe Andy Reid is the best coach in football. It's not hyperbole when I have said several times this year, he's better than Belichick right now. Obviously, Patriots... Not as good without Tom Brady, but like who's coaching, who's coaching better than Andy Reid? Nobody, not a fucking anybody. It's insane. He's got an incredible quarterback and he makes Patrick Mahomes life easy at QB. Like You don't even have to make Mahomes life easy because he can do crazy shit. But Andy Reid has figured out like all this crazy talent. I'm just going to help scheme up every single play. Obviously, that special teams play set it up, but damn. Uh, Yeah. Not fun right now because I felt like the Eagles had all the momentum. And then second half, Mahomes' ankle hurting more. Somehow the Chiefs' offense just functions better. That's what's frustrating. Still time, though. You trail by eight. You're down a touchdown and a two-point conversion. It's not the end of the game, obviously. But am I going to bet on the Eagles' defense getting a stop? Not at this point. Philly's got to be a little more. They've got, they need bigger plays on offense right now. Kansas City's giving them all these short yard uh, gains. Uh, They're not giving up anything, and the Eagles got to take some shots. Go back to that dropped Quez Watkins pass. That didn't help. Uh, I think because if you miss, then, you know, you give up the tie versus maintaining the lead. But... I don't think anybody would have blinked had they gone for two, and I think they would have gotten it. All right, from the 25, Eagles need to answer. They need some creativity. They run it up the gut. Not a creative play per se, but they do pick up five. Mahomes doesn't deserve MVP. I wish I could agree with that. 
I really wish I could agree with that. For every easy play he has, uh, he makes an incredible one as well. Who's the MVP right now if the Chiefs win, though? That's a real question. I'll give it to Mahomes because he played through his ankle injury, probably. But Second and five. He, Philly's taking way too much time here. Hand off. We're going to pick up four. Hello, Carmi. Did you have a bath? You look nice and clean. Oh, no. You're wearing Chiefs red. Oh, no. You want to push the buttons? Yeah, you can push the buttons. Yeah. I agree. Eagles need a little Boston Scott. Philly running their QB sneak, and I think they pick up another first down. Yeah, Jalen Hurts is standing well past the first down marker. Can you do the kitty ball? What do you want to do? The kitty ball. The kitty ball? Oh. Uh, maybe Mama will show you those, yeah. Love you. Good night. You got your slipper? Need some help? You got it? Oh, thank you. Yes. Yes, you can take Tom's cheese head with you, Carm. All right, Jalen Hurts back to pass. Chris Jones pushed to the ground. There you go, Tom. Somebody send that to Tom. Show that her che his cheese head is being used. Oh, no. Don't drop our daughter. <laughs> Don't drop our daughter. She just picked it up off the floor, Tom. All right. Sorry, I didn't even see what happened there. It's all right. Seven minutes left in this game. Oof. Yeah, my daughter is adorable. Oh, second and 11. So one yard loss. Quick pass. A.J. Brown. Makes a guy miss. It's only for an extra yard, though. Guess what? Eagles in third and manageable. Third and five. Coming up for Philly. What's Steichen got? Shane Steichen. Where's Agrassi? He's streaming right now. The Grassi stream. Stronger than ever. Third and five. Thank you for the $20. EFRZ. Effers. Effers. What do you got, Philly? Hurts. Quick pass. Picked up. AJ Brown. I want to see more of this shit right here. Get AJ. Slant route. Easy pass. First down. For the chip off the old block, a little cheese head. Yeah, Tom sent her that cheese head. Clearly. But it's been sitting on the floor here. She wanted to put it on. Hurts going deep. He's got a wide open Devontae Smith. Oh, my God. He can't stay in bounds, but he's down at the two or three. Oh. Oh. What a – he was wide open. Oh, my God. God, that should have been a TD. All right. I think they're going to score here. That's exactly what they needed. Big play. Touchdown. Touchdown. Chiefs doing a little pushing after the play there. There you go, Philly. Now you made it a game. Yes. Fucked up, Chiefs. <laughs> oh, I've been holding it in all game. I've been holding it in all game. Down by two, 35-33. I would say Kelsey's parents should be given the MVPs. I hope so. I hope so. All right, two-point conversion. Eagles and shotgun. Running. Hurts running right. He's got some room. Yes. Tie ball game.
tie ball game. Five minutes on the clock. It's far from over. Woo! But I like that Philly not giving up. Huge play to Devontae Smith. Three rushing TDs now for Jalen Hurts. Tie ball game. Thank you. Fuck them Chiefs. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Amanda. Definitely scripted. 35-35. Oh. Does anybody think the Eagles defense can get a stop, though? Does anybody think Phillies D can get a stop? I just need a moment. Need a moment. Need a moment. Man. All right. So 515. Worst thing Philly can do <clears throat> is let Kansas City take their time to move downfield, right? They need a sack. They need a turnover. They need a quick three and out. But they haven't done it all half. They did it in the first half after that opening series. They got plays. Second half, been a different story. I want to believe they can get a stop. I do. I just don't. I just don't. Okay, Kevin. You want them, Kevin? You want them, Kevin? Uh, you got them. Yeah. If there is a God, you will grant the Eagles a turnover now. If there's a God, you'll grant the Eagles two turnovers now and two touchdowns for Philadelphia. I know that's asking a lot, considering Eagles fans can be a little crazy. But let's make it happen. Come on. Come on. Say hello to my little friend. I think so too, Kevin. But I can't really say that because I made it. So, you know, I just sound egotistical. Oh. Oh, am I going to be hurt one more time this football season? Am I going to be hurt one more time? Cool. Gordon Ramsay's there, guys. Oh, my God. The, pointing out all the celebrities at the game is so lame. We get it. They're rich. They can go to the game. How about a last FYTB moment for the retirement? All right. Hand off Pacheco. He's going to pick up three. It's like Pacheco picks up either three yards or 10 yards. Oh, it's too nervous for this game. I didn't think I would. I thought I had mentally detached enough from the results of this game. I wouldn't care. Now I do. Now I yeah I feel it. I want to throw up. I want to puke. I want to fucking vomit. Second and seven. Mahomes to throw. He's got time. Juju Smith-Schuster, first down. Come on. Get, do something. Where's this Eagles pass rush? 
Highest scoring Super Bowl, 75 combined points. Second highest is 74 with Eagles win in 2018. Eagles are going to win and have highest scoring game, question mark, best Super Bowl, question mark. If they can do it, average Joe. All right. The Eagles need to make one play on defense. Three, if you just count it as a stop. Handoff, Pacheco. Ooh, shoulders dropped. CJ Gardner Johnson coming in hot. Pacheco is slow to get up. This was a friggin' hit. Textbook hit, too. Not dirty, just hard. Yeah, Pacheco's uh, injury timeout. Um, he's going to miss at least one play. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot. Secret Chiefs fan, right? Who does the better me? Me or the picture of me from the past? You don't want Casey losing. They will come back. They'll come back every year. Eagles need to kill them. Eagles need to win. All right. Wow, we could just get a commercial for Jesus. Didn't know Jesus had that kind of money to afford a Super Bowl commercial. Thought he was a man of not many means. Second and eight. <clears throat> Coming up after the commercial break. Don't forget, we were raising money for the Alzheimer's Association. We're going to be well short of our goal, but we shall try again. We're at 7,300. I appreciate everyone who donated so far. We're going to get to 25K. And I will commission. Tom Brady, this work of art to be painted and hung in my house for an entire year. Link to donate is below. Use the link to do it uh, if you have the means. If not, just uh, go to Twitter at Brandon Perna. Retweet the link to this uh, episode or the uh, straight charity link. I appreciate the support. Okay. What NFL do if Hamlin injury happened in the Super Bowl? Uh, that, I don't know. I don't even want to think about that. You're the better Brandon Perna, but I'm the better real Brandon. Hey, you son of a bitch. Brandon Perna, number one Chiefs fan, the slander. That's libel because it's written, right? Or is that the other one? 32 was the greatest of all time. I agree. I agree. Super Bowl 32 was the greatest of all time. Casey, even if you win, you're still the third best AFC West franchise. Whoa. Kelsey, I think he's got a first down. Second and eight. Kelsey gets eight. Exactly eight. If Eagles win, do you do some skating this offseason? Skating? You want me to get back on the board? Three minutes and 37 seconds left in this game. Uh... State Farm has no mercy. You're right. Philly needs a stop. Well, they just got to let the Chiefs score. Pacheco back in the game, and he's going to pick up a first down. They didn't give it to Kelsey. Pacheco comes in and gets 10 yards. What I tell you, he gets three or 10 yards every friggin' time. The Chiefs are going to win this on a goddamn field goal, aren't they? They're just going to run this clock out, give Butker a chip shot, and that's how this shit's going to end. I mean, they're already in field goal range. Sort of, almost. They, the Eagles, they, they, gotta, they need a sack. They need a pick. They need a fumble. They need something. 
Mahomes is scrambling, and he's going to pick up a first. He's got a high ankle sprain. Tackle him. How the fuck do you give up 26 yards to a guy with a high ankle sprain? Dear God. Fake. It's fake. Two oh nine. I mean, you get the two minute warning. The the Eagles have to not allow Kansas City to get a first down. If Kansas City gets a first down, the game's over. Assuming they don't kick a field goal, right? Mahomes just won MVP because of that run, too. Oh, I do not want this off season. I do not want this off season of Chiefs as Super Bowl champions. I can't do it. I can't do it. All right. This is how Philly gets to victory, okay? Chiefs run it. They stop them. Timeout. Chiefs run it. They stop it. Timeout or Chiefs throw incomplete. They have to force the field goal right now with minimal time coming off the clock, giving Philly a legitimate shot to answer on a following drive. They need like a minute and a half, Philly does, to try and score. One first down, Chiefs just going to run out the clock, kick the field goal in this shit. God dang it. Oh. It hurts, guys. I mean, but this is what I thought would happen. I've been wrong about so many football things, though. I've been wrong about every football thing. Why couldn't I have been wrong about this one? This one, this is the one I wanted to be wrong about. And I'm right on. Yeah, was that a Chinese air balloon commercial? Is that what just happened? Was Has this been viral marketing for that show? Uh, fumble? Yeah, yeah, right. There's no way the Chiefs do anything stupid here. They're just not, they're not that team. They're not that team. <sighs> this is a long commercial break. Long commercial break. It's two minute warning. They're milking. Eagles got two timeouts. We're at second and eight. If Kansas City runs it here and they stop them, Philly uses up. Oh, well, there's Pacheco back in the backfield. Incomplete pass on either of these two downs, and Philly could just use one timeout. It's a quick pass to Juju. He falls down. That's about a yard loss. Eagles going to use their second timeout. They got a minute 54. I mean, what does Kansas City do here? Yeah, Greg Olson saying exactly what I was going to say. So, ipso de facto, I'm as good as Greg Olson. Uh, <laughs> but um, do you just hand it off, be safe, take the field goal, or are you trying to do, call up a play to give Mahomes a, a chance to, to make a throw, knowing if it's not there, it's incomplete, and you give the Eagles that one timeout which could be big on this final series. Ah!
Third and eight. Four to marbles. All of them. All of the marbles. I don't even want to look at it. I don't even want to look at it. Mahomes throws it up. Incomplete. Oh, my God. There's a late flag. What the fuck? Don't end this with a pass interference, dear God. Do not end this with a pass interference, illegal contact. Holding on the defense. Are you kidding me? Oh, what a weak ass call. What a weak ass call. Wow, you can't end the game on that bullshit. Are you kidding me? That is an atrocity. That is a bastardization of this game. What fucking bullshit, man? What bullshit? Yeah, just let him score at this point. Oh, he slides down. What a cuck. What a damn... Fuck! Eagles make a play, and you give them a five-yard free first down. It's contact within five yards, and they're touching, where you can make contact with the receiver. Dear God. I'd be angry no matter who that call affected. You don't want to see a game. Jesus Christ. Carl Cheffers is the worst referee I've ever seen in my life. At least Chiefs fans can probably agree with that. They might like him today. On all other levels, they know he's a fraud. A friggin' fraud. Wow. What a... It is a trash ending. It's pathetic. It is a pathetic way to end what was a great game. And that's what really, if I, like, it's, it's not even about like the Chiefs winning. It's just a pathetic way to end what was a very good football game. A mostly well-officiated game up until that point. And then they let this be the thing that determines it. Something kind of outside of anybody's control. The guys make contact within five yards. Okay. You're allowed to do that. And they call that holding. Come on. Come on, man. Obviously, if it were the Broncos and they benefited from it, I'd say it's a bad call, but what are you going to do? Yeah. 54 seconds. Chief's going to run another what? 30 seconds or whatever off the clock. Stupid. Tainted asterisk put it by the Super Bowl. Good God. Fuck that. Fuck that ending. It ruined a great Super Bowl. That's what just happened. It just ruined a really good Super Bowl. Chiefs could have kicked the field goal. Their defense could have came out, gotten the stop, got the win. Boom. You'd been like, Chiefs earned that win. They earned it. Now they're given a win. Nobody likes that. Nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see that. Yeah, remember Goodell just said uh, 
NFL, NFL officiating has never been better. Wrong. Wrong. Only way this works out is if Butker misses here. If this kick is blocked somehow. That's the only way it works. It's the only way we get an even Stevens. It's too easy of a field goal to miss it, so it has to be blocked, right? Kicks this short are rarely blocked. Field goal's good. Eight seconds left. I would have been fine if the Chiefs just won it without this call. I would have been okay. I could have accepted it. Could have accepted it. The Chiefs now have a Mickey Mouse ring. Congrats, Chiefs, on your fraudulent win. It doesn't count in my book. Yeah, that's just shitty, man. Like, congrats, Chiefs fans. Chiefs played a good game, too. But you don't want it. You don't want it ending that way. No, it's not about it being in my favor, Alex. It's, it's a bad call. It's just a bad call. I think it's very uh, non-biased way to look at that is saying it was the wrong call at the wrong time in the game. If if it was reversed right now, I would be I would be defending the Chiefs. I really would, Alex. I swear to God. I swear to Christ. It was a really good game up to that up to that point. Ah, oh, God. That's the worst part about it. Contact was in, within five yards where it can happen. Eight seconds. They slide down. They got four seconds. Philly's got four seconds to score a touchdown. If you're listening to the people talking about the game, they think it's a bad call. If you look at everybody who talks about football, they think it's a bad call. It's consensus, a bad call by everybody on earth besides Chiefs fans, which is acceptable. I get that. I'd do the same thing if it were the Broncos. I'd try and find the silver lining. But damn. Damn. Near perfection. We almost had it. Almost had it. And in my last video, when I said, this is the situation where you need a ref to be able to chime down and say, pick up that flag. All right. So Hurts here on the last play, looking to throw. Can't even throw it that far because his shoulder's fucked up. Game over. Chiefs are Super Bowl champions. whoop de frigging do Congratulations. You'll have to live with knowing you were gifted a Super Bowl, which I'm guessing you could. That's pretty easy to live with. Pretty easy to live with. Wow. There it is. Game over. Oh. If you're a Chiefs fan and you're watching right now, Good. Good job. I'm happy for you. In some deep buried part of my soul, I'm slightly happy for you. The audio is going in and out of the celebration. I'm guessing they're covering up swear words. I don't know. Well, that's just how it goes. Take out that one call. It was a pretty damn entertaining Super Bowl. I will say that. Eagles, hell of a first half. Chiefs, hell of a second half. And one dicey call. Basically cost the Eagles a minute and a half. A minute 50. A minute 45 of time. I don't even know if the Eagles would have been able to get back into field goal range to tie it up to take it an OT. Or score a touchdown, but uh, this game will forever be marred. Nobody will ever acknowledge this as a real Super Bowl, and that's okay. On to Super Bowl 58. Sean Payton, 
Go out there and get us one Rob Gronkowski immediately. This Travis Kelsey's telling people to put respect on the Chiefs name. Uh I get you need that mentality, but let's drop the bullshit. Everybody has said the Chiefs are really good all year long. All year long. Nobody said the Chiefs suck. But you got to tell yourself those things to keep competing. To help you and I survive the insufferable Kansas City fans who think they'll win the next 5, so they might win the next 5. They might win the next five. But thank you. Thank you, Texas Sci-Fi. Thank you guys all for watching. Thank you guys for helping us get to almost a third of the way to our $25,000 goal uh, for the Alzheimer's Association. We're close. We will continue to try. We will get there. Uh, I appreciate everybody who donated, everybody watched the streams, watched all the streams that, uh, this year. Tom and I will be back in the morning for GPS, obviously. The Raiders still have the same number of rings as the Chiefs. That's right. So do the Broncos. We all got three. We all got three. It's going to be really awkward when Russell Wilson gets the fourth. All right, I'm going to get out of here, guys. Again, thank you so much. GPS tomorrow morning, and of course, tomorrow, a best and worst of Super Bowl 50, whatever it is.